Welcome back. My name is Nov. Uh, we did, this is part two. We did have a part one, but we had a little bit of an error on that video. And uh, we're back here we're talking about the case of the three Kansas uh, Chiefs fans found dead behind Jordan Willis's backyard. Now, you can go watch that. That's going to be kept on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure how long, probably like 10, 20 minutes. And you can come back here for the extension. All right. So uh, we were talking about how the drugs found in their system. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about who provided it. We're going to try to see who, who, who did it. But this one is how much of each drug, which is pretty, pretty hard to figure out since it hasn't been released. But it's just somebody supplied this. How much? I have no clue. But we know three times the amount. Three times the amount was found in fentanyl inside their body. Provide, that statement provided by the family. Now, this podcast is uh, it's all about true crime. This entire channel is about true crime. But was this a crime by Willis? Was this just foul play? Was this people saying Alex did it? Not too sure. Let's see what we can find. Again, my name is Noah. Welcome to Novesity True Crime Podcast. Hit the like, share, follow. I would appreciate that over at YouTube. Hit that like button. Let's, let's redo the likes. Just hit the likes. And then if you haven't shared, hit the share. I would appreciate that very much. I do apologize for the crash. All right, so let's, uh, let's continue. It's the news many have been waiting to hear. Family members of the three football fans who were found frozen say they have seen toxicology results that show the victims had multiple illicit drugs in their systems, including deadly amounts of fentanyl. Amber Cogliano has details. The three fans mysteriously found dead after a Kansas City Chiefs watch party all had fentanyl, cocaine, and marijuana in their systems, according to a new report. News Nation national correspondent Alex Capriello spoke to family members who say they have been told details from the preliminary toxicology reports. What are they saying about the amount of fentanyl? Based on my sources from within inside the family, they tell me that the concentration levels of the fentanyl was well beyond the lethal limit. There has been widespread speculation that the deaths were due to drugs. As the weeks have progressed, as I've spoken to more family members, I think it became increasingly clear or increasingly likely to them that drugs probably did play a part in this. It still does not take away from their pain at all. But I think uh, the big question is whether or not this leads to any sort of criminal prosecution. The three friends were found in the snow covered backyard of their friend's house, but it's not clear if the cold weather contributed to their deaths. Police say the autopsies had to be delayed for their bodies to thaw. Forensic. Oh, what? They had to thaw out the bodies? It, it makes sense, but that additionally delay. Wow, that's insane. Let's keep listening to this. A pathologist. I'll get to the super chats on YouTube. Sorry, guys, it crashed. It crashed, so I, I didn't see anything that much on YouTube, so I'll, I'll get to it in just a second, okay? And Facebook as well. Dr. Priya Banerjee says recreational drugs secretly laced with dangerous fentanyl are flooding America's streets. And that's why we're seeing so many fentanyl overdoses. People have no idea what they're getting, and that's where the danger lies. The watch party took place at the home of Jordan Willis, a research scientist. He has reportedly checked into rehab. His lawyer says he has no idea how his friends died. Police have said they don't suspect foul play and that this is not a homicide investigation. I mean, so far that we think so. So far that we think so. I mean, we, we, we've been following this whole case and uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know why drugs weren't discussed at the very beginning. Because every time that uh, we people reached out for comments about drugs, it was always no comment. Everyone, I got brand new videos as of now, moving forward one hour ago, 40 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, updates, toxicology information, articles. I want to get back to the yesterday's article, but I also have a new one about fentanyl and then a timeline. We finally have a full timeline. January 7th, January 8th, January 9th, January 16th, 
January 23rd, January 26th, February 1st, February 2nd. Don't go anywhere. This is where you need to be. Again, I do apologize for the crash. I tell people all the time, hit the subscribe button or you're going to lose me. I tell people that all the time. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the follow. You might want to stick around for this. Um, let's get into this brand new video. Let me pull up uh, YouTube uh, blah, 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 blah. real quick. Sorry about that, people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's get into this next video. It's going to be about um, the toxicology shows more. So could there be more than a toxicology? Because these people drunk alcohol. If you drunk alcohol, why wasn't the alcohol discussed, picked up, talked about? They only talked about THC, cocaine, and they only talked about, most importantly, fentanyl, having level 30 amount inside each of their system. Now, this situation is a bit complex to understand because we're still waiting for the overall results. You know, how much was in their system? Did, I mean, did they leave out an additional drug? Possibly. Probably something we didn't hear about. The alcohol, which one, how much alcohol, how much THC, THC, how much cocaine? Here's what I can kind of get from if you, it, it, it here's what i kind of understand you know what actually oh shoot chat everybody you know what i just you know what i just realized i just realized that oh snap chat i just realized if we could find out how much thc how much cocaine can we not can we not conclude that it was laced by fentanyl you, you guys understand me Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Chat, think about that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before we get into this interview, think about what I'm telling you. Think about it. Because if we could see how much levels are in their system, we could almost see how much amount they took versus the other amounts they took. If it was all low, low compared to fentanyl being high, we could see how much cocaine and NTHC they took. Yes? Think about it for a second. Oh, shit, I just thought about that. Because if, if, if it was high levels of cocaine and THC, that means they took, that means it was low levels of, of fentanyl, like a, a low amount that they would need to take in order to take so much from, ugh, I'm explaining it so wrong. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm usually not like this. If they took so much THC, or co well, we can't know, well, we don't know, we wouldn't know if the fentanyl was dipped in the marijuana or sprinkled in the cocaine. Okay, so that we wouldn't know. I just thought about that. But we can, mm. or, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. THC and cocaine. If one is higher than the other, what, no. Well, then that would mean that the fentanyl would be more. Well, not technically, because they could have just put more. Mm, but three times the amount. This is tough. This is tough. That will be probably come out in the full report, Deborah says on Facebook. Absolutely. Yes. I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, Jules nailed it. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to say this right. My head is all funky. I'm, I do apologize. My apologies. My, my apologies. I'm trying to, trying to get this right. Let me pull up YouTube. YouTube. I'm so sorry. I didn't pull you guys up. Uh, hold on real quick. If you, sorry, super chatters and members, I didn't see anything that, uh, wait a minute. Elizabeth. Elizabeth with the 10 gifted. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Elizabeth with the 50 beans. Elizabeth! Where's Elizabeth? Somebody point out Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I appreciate... Elizabeth! Thank Three you! Three Kansas City My men God. found dead in their friend's backyard. We now understand from the reporting that there was cocaine and fentanyl in their system, okay? Fentanyl, probably the deadliest drug in our midst, all right? It's been 24 hours since that reporting came out. But still, why were they outside when they were taking it? 
What about the friend who survived? How did they get fentanyl in their system? The police say this is 100% not a homicide investigation. That means that they don't believe that someone negligently, recklessly, or intentionally caused this killing, this death. Let's bring in the first family members to speak out since the report, okay? The father and stepmother of victim David Harrington. Now, you may take uh, exception to that and say, he's not a victim, he did this. I think it's an open question. Teresa. Hold on, before we continue, keep in mind of what Kumo just said. I know exactly why he, Kumo, you're good. I know why he put emphasis on that. He put emphasis. Answer the question. I'm going to play the video. Do you think this is foul play or not? That's all. That's all I'm asking you. Let's continue watching the video. Elizabeth and John Harrington, thank you both uh, for joining us. I'm very sorry for your family's loss. Uh, but Teresa, how does this information, what does it mean to you about what matters here? Um, what matters is that um, he didn't take that to die. Um, something happened between either that was given to him. It, it just means that there's more to the story, there's more to it than just that. He didn't uh, take the drugs to get dead. He took, if he took the drugs on his own, he took them to get high. So right. I think there's more to the story. John, do you believe that these were drugs that the fellas brought with them that night? Or do, they, do you believe they got them there that night? I really don't know, but my thinking is that they got them there. And why does that change the analysis for you? Because somebody gave them something that would kill them. Right. And then. Did you hear the, he, he, the way that he. Did you hear that? Listen, listen to what he said. Listen, listen, listen. So right. I think there's more to the story. John, do you believe that. These were drugs that the fellas brought with them that night, or do they? Do you believe they got them there that night? That's the big question. I see all the answers on Facebook and YouTube. You guys are saying foul play, foul play, foul. I see it. No foul play, in my opinion. It's okay, guys. On listen, on novesity, all opinions are respected. I don't, guys. I'm not the guy that's saying that Willis is guilty. Addicts did something. I, legally, I can't say that because there isn't no facts. That, that's what you came to Novesity for, right? The truth, the facts, what the hell is going on. No bullshit on this podcast. Well, that same thing goes for you having an opinion. You can, you, I'm, giving you, I'm giving my platform for you to say whatever you like. There was somebody who DM'd me and said that they believe aliens were involved. I didn't DM them and said, you're a, you're a full-blown crack out of your mind. No, I said, you know what? Possibility. We'll, we'll leave that open. Who am I to judge? Think about it. You know what I'm saying? It's not good to be mean to people. It's, no matter how crazy the idea is, sometimes it's good to give people a chance. And this is your time to shine in the comments. I'm going to ask you again. Besides the no foul play or foul play, now, do you think that they brought the drugs, Clayton, David, and Ricky, or was it given to them by someone we haven't found or maybe someone <clears throat> we know already? I mean, Alex or Willis, do you think that's what I'm saying? I really don't know, but my thinking is that they got them there. And why does that change the analysis for you? Because somebody gave them something that would kill them. Right, and then the, the problem with with this situation is, well, then why is Jordan Willis alive? Although maybe it explains why he was asleep for two days. Uh, and why did someone else escape with their life, but not these three gentlemen? And how did they wind up, your son and two others, outside when this was happening? Teresa, where does your mind take you on those questions? David wasn't a drug addict or anything like that. Um, peer pressure, you know, um, Jordan Willis is in rehab. 
Um, he could have, I don't know, you just the peer pressure of taking, you know, hey, I'm going to take this. You guys want some? And they went outside because they were warm or something like that. And, um, you know, he stayed inside. They went outside and they, uh, you know, passed out outside, maybe. I mean, it's very but consistent it raised, with fentanyl, right? I mean, what fentanyl does right. is it slows down your breathing so much that you can very easily pass out and be unaware right. of the cold. Right, exactly. And then those some of those drugs warm your body up um, and you, feel, you don't feel cold as quickly and you can succumb to hypothermia pretty quick. Mm. What does so, it mean to you that the police are saying, Ms. Harrington, that this is not a homicide investigation. They are not looking at this as this being someone's fault criminally. We keep getting um, answers that um, they're, they're still investigating. So there's something there that they're saying maybe that's not right as well, but they don't mm. have enough to charge or, um, you know, interrogate someone a little deeper. Right. Um, and, and yeah. John, lastly, you know, Mike, it's not a criticism, it's an observation. If they, if your son and these other men got these drugs, there could be more of these drugs. They, they could be in other people's hands that they aren't aware also. And John, does that give you some cause for concern that the authorities should be more vocal to the community to be careful? It's you not see like that? fentanyl isn't a problem. Listen. John, lastly, you know, Mike, it's not a criticism, it's an observation. If they, if your son and these other men got these drugs, there could be more of these drugs. They, they could be in other people's hands that they aren't aware also. And John, does that give you some cause for concern that the authorities should be more vocal to the community to be careful? It's not like fentanyl isn't a problem in the community. It really does. More innocent people can die. Right, Teresa. I mean, that's the concern. I mean, people need to be aware. No one and nowhere is right. safe from fentanyl as a drug, unlike any we've ever seen. And I hope that exactly. this situation winds up being a cautionary tale for people to be careful. Um, your your son's life matters, and hopefully, it will have meaning even in this situation. Hey, thank you for watching. Yes, my prayers go out to the families and the victims. This is terrible, and it's like I feel like no one's taking this type of stuff serious. Begs to differ. I mean, the, the question still, a professional, uh, Christina Farley on Facebook says, a toxicology professional said that these drugs can make you very hot to the point that you want to take your clothes off outside and get cool. Did anybody know if they were wearing what they found? Two were wearing jackets. One was wearing uh, no jacket. So if I could actually make a quick observation on that, they took a super high dosage to the point where they're breathing succumb to their death rather than the temperature of their body. You get it? So it, they took so much that they're, in my opinion, their breathing got to them more quickly than the temperature of the body. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You get, you get it? It's, an, it's, it's a terrible, terrible situation. Guys, I got more videos. This is it's still more information out there. Um, I do want to get back to this video what we did not finish right here with John. Let's finish watching this right here. That you can't sue a tech company. So these companies are hiding behind that. But this guy, so right he, now, if he's dirty. We're talking about, John Walsh is talking about the mystery deepens of the deaths of the three Kansas City chief fans who died with fentanyl. Because it's, 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 it's crazy. But I'm saying that I can explain the reason they went outside. Possibility, Christina, absolutely, absolutely. They don't want him to run, you know? They make mistakes and drive the guy out and he goes. He, maybe he's a serious druggie in a rehab. Maybe it, it's, not un, it's not unusual that a drug guy will live, sleep Very for 24 hours. Very weird though that, hours. you know, all three of them died, you know, probably within the same time frame. I mean, they were found 48 hours later. There's one report that one of them was on a lawn chair. Yeah. Uh, one of their girlfriends showed up at the house two days later because she was frantically trying to reach the homeowner and her boyfriend. Um, so she went over to find out what was going on and, and, and found all of these people dead. I mean, if they also one of them had a pharmaceutical license. Yeah. So, I mean, the, obviously the toxicology is going to have a lot of answers here. Because...
so the rumors were true. Some of you guys actually, oh, damn. That doesn't mean anything, but that could. But does that, that doesn't really say much, but it could come into physical license. Possibility, possibility, possibility. But that doesn't mean anything still. Tammy uh, Grisby, Grig, Grigsby, welcome to the Novice City Nation, tier one. Welcome to the family. Enjoy your perks. Crystal Powell with the five super chat says, their hearts would have stopped before uh, their breathing, in my opinion. Crystal Powell. Uh, oh, Crystal, are you, the are you the nurse, Crystal? Wait, somebody's a nurse, right? Oh, wait, Crystal Powell is with the 20 super chat. Jesus, Crystal. Fentanyl and alcohol could cause fluid loss, dehydration, and cardiac event could accelerate hypothermia. Ah, Crystal Powell. Crystal Powell, well, good super chat. I wish I could pin it, but it's not popping up. Super chats are not popping up. I don't know why. I got to fix that. So, so you believe that they took so much that it was a cardiac event, right? Like them taking the fentanyl that, like so much that it went directly more, like, it was more of a heart issue then breathing, then temperature. Like, it would be heart issue, if not heart. It would be breathing. If not breathing, it would be temperature that would set in later. You know, I'm looking at this as hypothermia could be this byproduct, that this delusion of death. Because, guys, I mean, let's talk about it. That could, let's just say that it didn't take their life, that this overdose. Then hypothermia would be the last Oh my God, if you really think about it, it's like these poor victims could not escape death. Let's just say that they survived this cardiac event. Well, then the breathing was set in. Let's say that then they, they survived the breathing issue. Then they could have been so immobilized that hypothermia could have... Oh my God! It's like that no matter what, they could have... They would have died. Oh my God. Chat, what is going on? Crystal Powell says, yeah, they were doomed. Oh my God. It's like this chain of like, this chain effect as if like, these individuals, YouTube, Facebook, are you hearing me? These individuals suffered that no matter what outcome, if they survived, oh God, this is real. Stella says, I'm a recovering addict. They didn't stand a chance. Stella Marie, you know what, Stella Marie? You're a recovering addict. I would be honored if you could share your story for five minutes. Guys, I do have some good news. The phone calls are working. So if you are a member or you just subscribed to Novicity Nation, tier one, who can figure out what tier one means, by the way, because tier two is coming very, very soon. If you are tier one or if you are a part of Novicity Nation, um... You get priority, you can call in. Later, for regular followers and subscribers, you can call in after. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get five people that are members on YouTube and Facebook. If you have a badge, call in. The phone number's working. Thank God, everyone. Thank you. And now I cannot wait to hear everyone's voice because I got people who shared stories who took fentanyl. I got people who, whose family actually sadly deceased from it. And I, I do apologize. I do. I'm not trying to use your story as a tool. It was you guys who reached out to me and said, I would love to share my story. You do not have to. You don't. Keep it to yourself. We love you. 
you just, I want to give my platform to you, a voice for five minutes. I want you to share your experiences because yesterday was so sad. So sad. So sad. If you missed that podcast, go watch it after this. It's sad. It's t- what people have been through. Now, Facebook, I know this is a part two podcast, but do me a big favor. Facebook, I just want to hit 100 shares. That's all. I just want to knock it out the park. Hit 100 shares. Hit 300 likes. And that's it. YouTube. My beautiful YouTube. Beautiful, majestic, sexy people over at YouTube. We have 202 likes. Can we hit a quick 300? That's all. All right. Let's get into this. Phone number is going to be pinned in just 15 minutes. Get ready. Make sure that you mute the TV. You have good internet connection. Don't put it on speaker. Keep it to your ear, and then we're going to get into this, all right? Let's keep going. They might have all taken the same thing and just passed out and died. And the creep inside who wasn't coming out, I know lots of guys that are addicted to drugs. That we can, so They'll be meth addicts or they'll take some, and they'll sleep for 24 hours or longer than 24 hours. So it's not unusual that this guy stayed inside. It was freezing. Maybe he didn't see those guys outside. I know the cops are waiting on the toxicology, and I'll bet... Whoever provided that, one of the three guys that died outside or the guy in the house or they all took something, I think it was a batched, mixed batch because they're putting fentanyl in every drug. It's so crazy that you can buy this stuff on Snapchat, as you say, and kids can have it delivered to their home. I I do want to play, because you and I were talking in the break, about Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, and about this case where police officers were beaten in Times Square. Uh, Then these you know, lovely guys come out of uh, being held or questioned for, I don't know, five minutes, and they're flipping the bird at the media, just laughing as they walk out. This is Kathy Hochul uh, singing kind of a different tune than she has in the past about what's going on in New York. Watch. Okay, so this is a a different story that I'm not going to get into. Um, Yeah, this is something different. I want to stick to the case here about the three Kansas... Uh, city men found dead. Let's continue to a newer video. We are going into one hour ago. These are all brand new videos, new update information, and I want you guys to get involved. So let's pull out. Hold on real quick. Okay, yes. So the phone numbers are working. Yes! Oh my gosh. Now let's just hope the connection is going to be great because I'm having bad luck. Uh, You guys ready for this new video? Kina with, oh, Kina, welcome back to Novicity Nation. Welcome, welcome. You got your membership. Stacy Sydney, welcome to, enjoy your perks, Sydney. Stacy Sydney and Kina, welcome to Novicity Nation. You join the family, enjoy your perks, your emotes, your priority, everything. Dog Mom with the $2 super chat says, is the empty chair where Jordan sat till they died? Yes, correct, Dog Mom. That is absolutely correct. Um, if you guys want me to pull up that image, let me know and I'll show you. Juanita with a five super chat. She said, no, they just need to do hair follicle on them and Jordan cause it lasts longer in your system. Is that true, chat? Can they pull a hair from Jordan and Alex? Because didn't we say that a couple days ago that if someone lied in their statement, it'll show up in that hair? I mean, if you really think about it, Willis, you only went to rehab. I mean, you, it, Willis, you went to rehab. Right when your friends passed away, after you moved away, then you checked into rehab. Don't play with me. Willis, don't play with us. Stop it. Stop it. There's people in this podcast that's not stupid. We're not stupid. You could have done, you had your whole entire life when you started doing drugs till before your friends died to check into rehab. Now you want to use your friend's death to say that, oh, it was a wake up call. Willis, shut the f- I'm trying not to curse because these poor people died and you want to use their death as a wake-up call. You could have did any to any other wake-up calls. Stop it. Bullshit. How dare you use your friend's deaths as a wake-up call to check into rehab to use that on your case? Again, I'm not saying that I I would tell us everything, even though there's an ongoing investigation. I get it. I get it. But if fentanyl killed these young men and they didn't even know that they were taking it, what if these drugs 
weren't given to them by Jordan Willis? What if they are available in the community? Or what if they were given by him and there's more of it out there? That's my question. We reached out to the mayor's office and the Kansas City, Missouri police for answers. They don't want any part of us. That's their choice. Our choice is to stay on it. And that's why. What? What? If they are available in the community or what if they were given by him and there's more of it out there? That's my question. We reached out to the mayor's office and the Kansas City, Missouri police for answers. They don't want any part of us. Who, I don't know what to say to this. That I have never heard of this. You know what I got to say to I'm so stuck. I don't know how they would want to evolve in your community if people voted for you to, to, for, for you to conduct a better state. The drugs are... You know what? Do you guys know? You know what? I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to shut up. Let's see who knows this. Do you know what the CIA did to a specific Democrat of people back in the 70s and 80s? That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say it one more time. Do you know what the CIA did to a specific group of people back in the 70s and 80s? Does that sound familiar to you? I'm not saying those people again, but probably the whole community. Who could figure that out, what I just said? That's their choice. I can't say it, but you guys can say it in the chat. I can't say it. Our choice is to stay on it. And that's why Fox 4 Kansas City's reporter Malik Jackson is pushing for answers because it matters more. Look, the community is not completely ignorant of the reality of fentanyl. They've gotten hit also in the Kansas City and surrounding areas. There could be poison drugs out there. Malik Jackson, good to have you. Yeah, Chris, thanks for having me. And, you know, that's what our focus was today on reporting. It's because... You know, that's the that's the thing now. Now that you know what was in these systems, it's now the responsibility of authorities to make sure that this community is safe. And right now we're just not getting the answers that they need to give. It shouldn't be an option. They they need to speak, they need to give these answers because lives depend on it. Right. And I respect, and I know you do also, ongoing investigation. All right, you're not asking for what charges are going to come and against whom. It's should the community be aware. Now, what does it tell you that they don't see the urgency as we do? It's concerning, and what it screams to me is that they don't have a handle of this problem. Um, over the course of my reporting today, Chris, uh, you might be shocked to find this out, but a source um, told me that there were two people who died of overdoses just yesterday. In what? Missouri synthetic opioid deaths skyrocket. Two thousand and seventeen, six hundred and fifty-three people died. Guys, only in Missouri. And then in 2022, not 2023, 1,534 people. And yet enforcement, law enforcement, and the mayor doesn't want to get involved? You don't want to get involved, but you see these numbers? Something is... I, I don't I don't want to get killed. I don't want to I don't want to die. I don't want to end up dead. I, I Who's that journalist? Who's that journalist that the SCIA killed? FBI killed. Journalist killed by CIA. Who knows? Gary Webb, may you rest. Oh, Gary Webb. Oh my god, he's a fucking hero. Oh my god, Gary Webb. This man's a fucking hero. Oh my god, and I am an independent journalist myself. I don't want to end up like you, brother, but you are a hero. You're a fucking hero. I love you, Gary Webb. I love you, Gary Webb. May you rest in peace. You are a fucking hero. This man is a fucking hero. I don't care. I don't care. I fucking love you. You 
beautiful man. You are, you are literally a, 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 above a hero, Gary Webb. I swear to everything of my life. This beautiful, this human, I'm telling you. Gosh, this fucking guy is amazing, man. This is a hero. How dare you say that he committed suicide, but there's two bullets to the head. Cover up! And I'm not the one for conspiracy theories. I don't play that shit. I don't like that. I like facts, but it was proven. And look at these numbers happening. And who don't want to get involved? I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Wait, let's go back. Who doesn't want to get involved? Who? Who doesn't want to get involved? Who doesn't want to get involved? Enough said. I can't say shit. I want to say it out my mouth, but I can't say it. Fuck. Community be aware. Now, what does it tell you that they don't see the urgency as we do? It's concerning, and what it screams to me is that they don't have a, a handle of this problem. Um, over the course of my reporting today, Chris, uh, you might be shocked to find this out, but a source um, told me that there were two people who died of overdoses just yesterday in Kansas City, Missouri. So we did our due diligence. We reached out to the police department, and that is, in fact, the case, that just on yesterday, two more lives right here in Kansas City were lost to two overdoses, and obviously we're waiting for uh, those tests and those results to come back, but it it's not, you know, something that they shouldn't know is a problem because we talked to the two neighboring jurisdictions today because KCPD is not being cooperative, to say the least, and those two neighboring um, jurisdictions, one said that the problem is that theirs is an astronomical rise of what they've seen in fentanyl over the last year. OK, over the last three years in Kansas City, Kansas, which is uh, to the west of Kansas City, Missouri, they see they've seen a, a steady and alarming rise for three years. And so uh, they're now tackling the problem. And so it's concerning that the police department uh, hasn't said anything. And it's also concerning how they right. handled this investigation, I think, from the jump. And I think a lot right. of people are concerned about that. Say that well. again. Yeah, fentanyl, say it again, Malik. Also Malik, a say it again. Alarming rise say it again. For three years. And so uh, they're now tackling the problem. And so it's concerning Ridiculous. that the police department uh, hasn't said anything. And it's also concerning how they've handled this investigation, I think, from the jump. And I think a lot of people are concerned about that as well. Yeah, and fentanyl, fentanyl is also a little bit of a boogeyman, right? Um, people uh, are slow to track it. Some argue that they're slow to want to track it uh, because it, it kind of like is a stain on you as a police force, as a community, that, that you have fentanyl. But it's everywhere, and it could be anyone. Um, Malik Jackson, thank you for staying on it. Uh, if I can help you, help me, let me know. Absolutely, and Chris, I just want to say one thing. I think there is hope. OK, because, as I mentioned, there's one police department that's tackling this issue. And then just today, there was a, a case of a man who was convicted for a, a fentanyl overdose in our Kansas City area that dated back to October of 2021. Mm. So as much oh. as there are those questions and concerns about what's happening right now, I can tell you that there are prosecutors, there are police departments that are putting all of their effort in to solve this problem. And so again, Chris, as bad as it is, as grim as it is right now, there is hope. There mm. is hope. Hey. So there is one but why one and not all? Not why one and not some. But on the case, ooh, ooh, that's interesting. Oh man, there was more people that died from fentanyl yesterday alone. And he even said it himself that the Kansas City Police, they just didn't. Why? Why did the police took nothing? I have never heard of this. Like, such poor policing, but you did it so, you did it so bad that you drew attention to yourself. You know that, right? That these poor victims died and you didn't even care. It's not that you did a bad job. You did 
so much of a bad job. There's three humans died. If there's nothing on their physical body that is showing that they died, strangulation, stabbings, bullet holes, trauma, bruising, you would know that something must come back in the toxicology report. High probability. And so it seemed provided by so many outlets. But it's common sense. You're in enforcement. You deal with this stuff. Jesus Christ, you have protocol when dealing with fentanyl because it's so toxic. You can die even from the fumes. You should know that your officers, not one showed up, but several of you guys, were, you had to report back to the station. The host station said, hey, you know what? No foul play. Hey, Jordan, take care of yourself, buddy. Good see. No! What the fuck is going on in this case? Can somebody tell me? We said this from the jump. We said this before Fox News Nation. But now that they're saying it, when all minds say the same thing, it becomes more truthful. You know what's not truthful? When dealing with drugs, when story changes, when things are left out. Because last time I checked, what was left out was between him and him. Not by statements, guys. We passed that already. We, I, I don't want to repeat myself on these podcasts. We know they changed the statements. I'm talking about drugs when nothing was said. Because last time I checked, things spoken loud is when, said, when things are said in silence. Last time I checked, not only he said no comment, Alex Lee's lawyer said that as well, is the fact that two lawyers battling saying that, hey, you're lying, says a different story. Something's not adding up here. Something's not adding up. Now I'm saying it. Something again is not adding up. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Something's not adding up. 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 Period. Elizabeth! What is going on? Elizabeth! You don't have... You, you've given up memberships for free to people. You do... I, Elizabeth, I, I, I don't deserve this. I, I don't. Thank you. She says, the mixture of stimulants like cocaine and meth with highly potent synthetic opioids, fentanyl, shit, she's intelligent too, is a fast-growing driver of fatal overdoses in the U.S. The mixture of opioids and stimulants speedballing is a new way to push, to push drugs. Elizabeth, I just checked the time that you sent this super chat, and you just said that before I saw, showed the video. Holy shit, you're right. You, you're right. I just I showed the video, and what they just confirmed what you just said. Elizabeth, well said super chat. I can see why you wanted the super chat to be showed on the screen. Because you're, you're right. They just, they just said it in the video. Fast-growing driver of fatal overdoses in, the, in Missouri, but also in the U.S., Good fucking super chat. Elizabeth! Next super chat. Crystal Power says, onset of action is a rapid 5 to 15 minutes peak an analogistic? An analogistic? Sorry, I, I don't, do I know that word? Oh! Analogistic effect is 20 to 30 minutes of a duration is approximately two hours. What? Really? Crystal, I want you to text your, uh, your, your name to... Are you a member, Crystal? Hold on. Hold on. Crystal. 
Crystal, I'm going to, ha ha if you want, join the court again, okay? I want to talk about this. 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 Uh, but after the members, uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you that call. After the members. That's a very good, oh my God, that's a good, that's a very good super chat, Crystal. Oh wait, well you did super chat, so you still get priority. So I'll, 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 I'll talk to you on, on the, um, on the Discord. Achilles with the uh, five super chat says, could we possibly have a dirtier police force? You know what? That's a very good super chat. I don't know what to say about this chat. Do, okay, how about this? I'm not gonna do no poll. Say it in the comments. Do you think the officers, the police department that handled this, did they drop the ball or no? Even if you say yes or no, it doesn't matter. You're still respected. Get, don't be afraid to say no. It's okay. You're you're entitled to your opinion. No one's gonna fight you. Elizabeth, oh my God, Elizabeth. Who's this? I see you, DC. Elizabeth. Sorry, Miss Word. Speedballing is not new. Just making it come back. It was a popular when, when Lou's were popular. When what? I can't read that. It's orange. Were, Luds were popular? Oh, okay. I get you, Elizabeth. Got you. Okay, Elizabeth. I got you. I got you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, my God, Elizabeth. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Candy Shop shared with the five super chats. She says, what is crazy is it's not, it's not even his dogs were left outside, but his besties were, sh uh, were shows how he values them. Oh, I see what you're saying, Candy Shop. Well said. Oh my God, these super chats are on fire today. Right, right, Candy Shop. Right, right. Bugrius Maximus, I love that name. With the 999 super chat says, hey Nov, not sure if it's your cue, but check out the Fox interview with Dr. Baden, world renowned pathologist. Goes over a few things to make news and make sense. Love your stuff. I did go over that. I did, I did, I did. I did, you should check it out. I think it was, I did this in the first podcast earlier today. I did go over that, yes, yes. And you're right, it was a good one. You're absolutely correct. That's a very good super chat as well. All right, guys, you guys ready for the new video? Now we have two new videos that, that just released. News Nation and one for Fox. You guys ready for these brand new videos? We, we're gonna um, go over this. Steve Sample with the five gifted subs. Dude, thank you. Steve, thank you so much for that. Remember guys, these people are giving you free months. Giving you free crowns. Say thank you. Oh my God, look at all these. Everybody's almost green. Yo, this is nuts. Steve Sample, you're fucking nuts, bro. Oh, he gave out 10. Steve, holy chicken strips. Steve, thank you. The City Chiefs fans Steve. found frozen to death last month, the beginning of January, after that watch party. So this is what we know. These are only preliminary results, but sources with direct knowledge of the case. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me read this to you. Deceased, no, TMZ. hold on, deceased KC Chiefs fans, early toxicology indicates cocaine and fentanyl in systems. There may be others that surface when the What the fuck is this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Chat, is this true? For all my nurses in the chat, detectives. By the way, I'm not shitting on all police and detectives. I don't do that. I'm saying this specific police department failed. Okay, I am not an activist hater, a police hater. I am an overall no hater to any group or anything. Nothing. I'm just, I'm, I want that to be said. So shout out to all my police, my EMTs and firemen in the chat. 
but I need to know from everyone in the chat. If I don't know something, I am not, I have no ego. I'm going to ask you, and I'm asking you now. Is this fucking true? Since it's not fully done, could there be more? Could there be more drugs? Chat, could there be more drugs? Because if it is, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. Why is no one talking about this? Oh shit! Everybody on YouTube and Facebook is saying yes, yes, no, yes. Stella on Facebook said absolutely. Rose said most definitely on Facebook. Lee on Facebook said yes, yeah. Jennifer on Facebook said yeah because they didn't mention alcohol. There was a question like that on the, on the, on the members page, yes. And I answered that question. Steve, 15 total gift memberships. Facebook, y'all better go to YouTube because <laughs> y'all better head on. Steve, what are you? Oh my God, Elizabeth, DC first and Elizabeth is, these people are, are insane. These people don't play games on YouTube. YouTube is not to be played with. Steve, thank you from the bottom of my heart, brother. Say, say thank you to Steve if you got a membership. He's just giving it out for free. The gift that keeps on the curse. Brittany is your name, right? Thank you for the super chat. Sent your cash app. Brittany, thank you so much. I'll take a look at it. I have some information that could shed light on the chemicals. Yeah, get, Christina, get in the Discord or wait for the phone calls. Brittany, the curse that, uh, the gift and the curse. I love that name. Thank you so much. I'm, 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 I'm going to look you up. Linda, welcome to Novicity Tier 1. Welcome to the family. Enjoy all your perks. Letitia said, I live in KC and have been saying, Willis, look what she said, chat, hold on. Chat, she said something. Letitia said, I live in KC and been saying Willis must know someone at the precinct department. It's too sus botch from the start. I am not going to lie. It is a bit sus what's happening or how this is going. It's, that's a very good super chat. It is sus. Letitia Thank you so much for that super chat. This is another alert. All right, Cocaine. new video, guys. New video. Fentanyl reportedly detected in the toxicology results. New video. Of those three Kansas City Chiefs fans found frozen to death last month, the beginning of January, after that watch party. So this is what we know. These are only preliminary results, but sources with direct knowledge of the case tell TMZ that other substances may surface once the official results come out. We know that the family members of those fans who died have a copy of the report, but they have not confirmed what it says. All right, this comes after we learned that Jordan Willis, the host of the party, checked himself into rehab. He is not currently facing any charges, and police insist the deaths are not being investigated as homicides. But should they be? Let's bring in Dr. Michael Bodden. He's right here, pathologist, Fox News contributor. Dr. Bodden. This oh, this is the pathologist you were talking about. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This revelation, we thought about drugs. Right. We, reasonable people thought it was drugs. What does this tell you? Cocaine and fentanyl. As uh, Lauren said, we have to wait for the official report to come out, but it appears at this time that there was fentanyl and other drugs present. Fentanyl is used uh, by doctors because it's a powerful painkiller. And one of the side effects is making a person sleepy. And what happened here, I think, could have been uh, that the four of them used the drugs together. The one fellow who comes in and sleeps on the couch indoors sleeps it off. Two days. For a while, more than 24 hours, right? Uh, whereas the other three, Check out these three get sleepy and pass out outside. And because of the weather and because of the snow, they're uh, body temperature drops very quickly from 98 degrees to 80 degrees, mm -hmm. at which point, less than an hour, uh, the heart can't beat anymore uh, accurately, so they die of a cardiac arrest due to hyperthermia.
Oh! Okay, so this is his take. It's not a fact just yet. It's not an official report released just yet. But man, you guys called it. You guys called it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Degrees, at which point, less than an hour, uh, the heart can't beat anymore accurately, so they die of a cardiac arrest due to hyperthermia. Mm -hmm. It is very unusual for three people using, or four people using drugs together to die simultaneously from fentanyl. Uh, the, the effects on people it varies a great deal. So uh, it's less likely to be overdoses and more likely to be hypothermia caused by passing out from the what, is, what does that tell you then if all four of them experienced I mean he fell asleep on the sofa thankfully he wasn't outside at the time the other three were what does that tell you about the power uh, how powerful these drugs are uh, we don't know what all the drugs are fentanyl is the most powerful mm -hmm. of these drugs mentioned uh, and it varies a great deal. There was something in the paper about somebody having a 30. 30 the uh, fentanyl is measured in micrograms. A very small amount causes a lot of... Uh, at 30, some people will die 30, and other people can go up to 100 or 200 and not die. See, it varies on uh, the ind individuals. So it would be extremely unusual for a true overdose uh, to kill them. Oh! Chat, he's saying that oh shit oh my god this is sad he's saying that one of them could have overdosed or three or none and the other two one or none could have been immobilized and in hypothermia and died that way that is crazy it's a higher probability that that happened So if, so if, oh my God, so it's like, oh, it's basically what we said. If not cardiac arrest, the breathing, if not, oh, it immobilizes them into hyperth- Holy shit. This case is nuts. But it, they would all get sleepy. Mm -hmm. And if they pass out in the snow, they die. One of the factors is it's a painless death. They don't have any pain when they pass out or they don't have any pain from the cold. So, doctor, we know we're in the middle of a drug crisis. And if the, the report is true that they were mixing the cocaine with fentanyl, there was a report and it was a bulletin done by the DA and they unclassified this. And the concern was people were using cocaine and fentanyl based together because they were using the fentanyl to substitute for the heroin. Why would people think that fentanyl is here? And what, what type of effect? Because they sent this to all the medical examiners yeah. because people were dropping like flies. What makes them the same? Well, fentanyl and heroin, fentanyl and both are laboratory made uh, chemical, drug narcotics, and they both have similar effects, but fentanyl is much stronger than heroin. Mm. And heroin is much stronger than morphine, uh, which is the original one. Uh, so that, uh, but... Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Hold on, chat, get involved, get involved with this. This is nuts. This is n Hold on. the same. Well, fentanyl and heroin, fentanyl and both are laboratory made uh, chemical, drug narcotics, and they both have similar effects, but fentanyl is much stronger than heroin, mm. and heroin is much stronger than morphine. Uh, which is the original one, uh, so that, uh, but when they're mixed with cocaine, sometimes addicts will mix a downer. Fentanyl is a downer, makes you go to okay. sleep. Cocaine is an upper, and some drug users think if you mix them together, it makes it safer, and that's not true. They'll right. mix it together, makes it worse, and many, most fentanyl deaths combine other drugs with them. Right. I'm happy oh. to say I'm not an experienced drug user, so this may sound naive. Could it be that someone gets cocaine and you people put fentanyl in it, they don't know it? Oh, absolutely. That's part of the problem. There's, fentanyl is very cheap. It's very cheap for the drug uh, uh, lords and all, so that they can mix fentanyl with marijuana, they mix fentanyl with cocaine. And that's why, and it's 
much more powerful than the other drugs. So the, the four of them are the, uh, may not even known what they were getting. They might have thought they were getting cocaine and instead it's fentanyl. And that's why, as Lauren said, we have to wait for the official toxicology But you do report. have a witness. A it guy that lived like, through it, right? It sounds mm -hmm. like the guy who was asleep on the sofa probably told police, because they said this is 100% not a homicide. People were accusing him, and he said, I didn't do it through. I bet he told police, this is the honest truth, this is what we were doing. Whoa. And maybe gave them the drug dealer's name or number, um, and then police knew what they were dealing with. Absolutely. That one thing, the police come there, and they got things from the scene. So they may have uh, the packets or whatever the drugs were, uh, right. were uh, yeah. contained, in, and they would have known. And that's why they said right away that it's not a, a murder. Or not. They right away said, gave the impression it was a drug overdose. And uh, uh, the. But don't hold on now. He's a specialist when it comes to the toxicology report, pathologist. But officers of the law, especially former FBI Jennifer Koffendorfer and some another officer, said that they, so if they know who supplied it, who did it, whose drugs, like who did it, like you know, like if Willis, Alex, or themselves, the, whoever provided it that day, they are highly likely to be charged. We learned that yesterday. I'm gonna stick to a professional who's a professional at that specific craft. I'm not going against him at all. 100% I'm not. But I'm saying, and he, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm just mind blown. But what I'm, okay. Let me, let's keep listening. The uh, amounts of the drug are going to be very important into being certain about how, how the effects were. The initial report says trace of cocaine and fentanyl. Fentanyl is much more likely to cause death than I cocaine. I thought coke had you race. Fentanyl yes. overcomes what Coke does? They do different things, but they don't overcome. They just add to each other. One makes you higher, one makes you lower, but they don't cancel each other just, out, which some of the drug users think. You can't even anymore. You can't try it. You can't, it's not worth it. One, uh, one mistake. A very little bit of, coca uh, of fentanyl can cause death, but a very lot may not. Yeah. We, they, they find right. fentanyl users drive, you know, driving erratically have right. 100 don't do micrograms. Drugs. Don't do drugs. Yeah. Dr. It's Biden, thanks so, so much. They have Thank children. you. Uh, uh, Chad, I just thought about it. I just thought of it. I just thought of it. I'm kind of understanding the scene according to what he, Dr. Okay, hold on real quick. Wait, 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 wait. This, this was this video is is so, so informative. Oh my God, I would love for him to call me. I'm going to tell you what I mean. Hot Honey with the five super chests. Hey, Nov, I'm trying to get the meet and greet popping. The meet and greet will happen uh, once I get more bigger. And I'm growing really fast, Hot Honey. Thank you for the super chat. How are you, Hot Honey? All right. David is in a chair, right? Look at this. Chat, look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. David is in a chair. I'm reading all super chats, guys. I know I'm backed up. I got you. I just want to read this and get this going on. And stars as well. David is in the chair. So David is, oh, we don't know who overdosed, who slept. You get what I'm saying? The good thing, I, I don't mean good as in like, you know, I meant good as in like, they didn't feel any pain. They didn't feel any pain. I'm happy for that. But taking this drug David kind of looks like he's in a chair and he slept. Look at the body mass. Remember, he said that it's different for each person. Ricky and Clayton dropped on the ground. Cardiac arrest? Respiratory issues? Or did they both sleep? So I'm going through the, through the different stages of which one could it be? Did they immediately die? Cardiac arrest? One or three? Because we don't know that. Respiratory death? One or three? We don't know that. Could have been two. Or it had them all sleep or one of them slept and died of hypothermia. They slept outside in the cold. Mm, this is making so much sense. This is clear now. This is clear. This is clear. This is clear. Yolanda Castillo with the 499 Super Chat. Thank you, Yolanda. I appreciate you so much for that. Thank you. Monkey VR with the $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Monkey VR. We appreciate you here in Novesity. Crystal Pod with the side Super Chat. It's exactly what I explained 
in our Discord. Yes, it is, Crystal. I remember it perfectly. Well done. Thank you for the super chat, Crystal. You did say that. You did. You definitely did, my mom. Uh, Martinique with the five super chat says, maybe that's why Alex lawyered up. Could he be the dealer? He dropped it off, stayed for a bit, and then possibly left? That is a possibility. We are not saying obviously over here that that's a fact. It is a theory. It's speculation, but it is a possibility. Yes, you are correct. That is a possibility. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Okay. Here's the newest video right here. I do got a Discord call. We're going to jump into that and then phone calls. Get your phones ready. All right, guys. Hot honey with the 10 gifted? Hot. What is going on? Hot honey, thank you so much. Y'all better stop. Thank you so much, hot honey. And Steve again. Oh my God. Thank you, Steve. Guys, thanks, Steve and hot honey. Denise, welcome to the Novicity Nation. Enjoy your perks. Welcome to the family. Achilles Wire, welcome to the family as well. Some welcome. Updates. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Finally, some updates in the case of the three men found dead outside of a friend's home in Kansas City three weeks ago after watching it. Oh, we do have some updates. Oh, so this is an update of an update video. All right. Everybody, tune in. Tune in. This is actually an update. Tune in. Tune in. This is actually an update. Okay. I, I thought it was just a, you know, okay. This is, all right. Some updates in the case of the three men found dead outside of a friend's home in Kansas City three weeks ago after watching a Chiefs game. The police now have the toxicology reports, and they apparently show fentanyl, cocaine, marijuana in the systems of all three men. News Nation is told the amount of fentanyl is well beyond the lethal limit, not legal, but lethal, three times the amount. The toxicology reports were shared with family members of the three men, 38-year-old Ricky Johnson, 36-year-old Clayton McGinney, and 37-year-old David Harrington. After mounting pressure from family and the media, the family's furious over the lack of answers until this point. Meanwhile, the living friend, Jordan Willis, who was a tenant in the home they'd gone to, has moved out of the house, checked himself into rehab. Willis never contacting the police, despite the men being dead and frozen in his backyard for two days. His family calling the deaths of his friends a serious wake-up call. Quote, after the shocking loss of three of his close friends under extremely tragic circumstances, Jordan recognized he had a problem with addiction. He immediately checked himself into rehab after vacating his home and putting his things into storage. Since the beginning of this case, police have said there are no signs of foul play. They're not investigating this as a homicide at this point, something that the family has, families have pushed back against. Recently, News Nation interviewed the cousin, Clayton McGinney, who talked about Jordan Willis, the man whose house they'd been visiting. A lot of times I'm hearing that David, Clay, uh, David Clayton and Ricky were like brothers. Jordan was kind of off on the side. Mm -hmm. True. Can I ask you guys a question? Who believes Caleb's, uh, I don't want to say story. He said that, he said that, Willis provided drugs in high school. He's a chemist. He made things for people. He has a drug addiction. Who, who believes this? Who believes this? I love your podcast. Thank you. Debbie and Bill Hooper, I love you. Thank you for watching. T. Breezy said, I do. Member R. Whip says, I do. I see some subscribers says, I do. Uh, I see Susie Style, The Rosy Life, Samantha Torres. I do. I do. This is crazy. Let's see what he has to say. Guys, do me a big favor. Before we continue, YouTube. Oh, my God. YouTube is like, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Jesus Christ. Monique says, I'm not sure. That's okay. We're not sure. Okay. Facebook said, I do, I do. I do believe it. No. Somebody says, somebody else says, no. Somebody says, I'm not sure. I don't believe him, says Rose. Okay. It's perfectly fine. 
All right, let's let's see what he has to say. If you guys missed it, hit the like and share for, for me. Uh, Facebook, we just need, oh, we just need thirty more shares. Awesome, Facebook, nice job. YouTube, we just need oh, YouTube, we need a hundred more likes and we're done. Let's go, YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. I tell people that all the time. Every time I say it, and then I get messages from people saying, "When I don't know when you're you're live again." You got to hit subscribe on Facebook, even if you're on a PlayStation or a remote on TV. Hit the subscribe. You're going to get involved. You're going to get all the newest videos, update information, and we get we update the updates, literally. Let's get involved. Let's see what he has to say. We're like brothers. Jordan was kind of off on the side. Mm -hmm. True. Jordan's a chemist, bro. Jordan's what? Jordan's a chemist. They all knew him as that. It was easy for them to go have fun, but he, <laughs> he made a mistake. Jordan was the chemist. He, he's a scientist, right? He does what he needs to do. Now, to use my cousin, my best friend, as a guinea pig. See, that's the way the families, at least some of them, are feeling. Pointing the finger directly at the other guy who was in that house. Back with me, Geraldo Rivera, Rachel Juarez, judge on TV's hot bench, and Jesse Weber, News Nation legal contributor. All right, Geraldo, uh, what do you make of the fam Families are angry. Well, we I... It's a tragedy, as I said two weeks ago on this program. This is about drugs. It was obvious to me. They thought they were doing coke. They were doing uh, fentanyl instead. Uh, another one of these tragic overdoses based on, uh, on fentanyl. It's a, it's a tragic accident. It is what's killing every movie star that you see uh, die under mysterious circumstances. Quietly, weeks later, they release the toxicology, and it's fentanyl in the blood. It is a scourge. It is a killer. If you want to find out who's responsible for those three deaths, find out who sold uh, the scientist there, the chemist, uh, the fentanyl, the coke that was supposed to be uh, pure well, it, coke. It, it sounds fentanyl. to me like they're basically saying, I mean, at least that family member was saying, this guy was probably cooking something up there. I, I agree with Geraldo, that's a possibility. I think it might be premature. Remember, we still don't have the cause of death of the manner of death report from the actual ME, the autopsy report. What I could say is, who introduced the fentanyl? If we accept the possibility that it was the fentanyl that killed them all at the same time outside, I, oh, and perhaps Willis himself took it as well and was knocked out, who introduced it there? Was it Willis himself? Did he know it was part of the drugs? Did he get it from a dealer? We have covered cases before where people lace drugs with these kinds of toxic byproducts, and they are brought up on criminal charges, yeah. whether it's manslaughter or something else. So I think that is the next step in the investigation. It, even though they're saying it's no foul play, and even though they're saying it's no homicide investigation now, that could change once they get more answers. Rachel? Oh, yes! You see? I knew there was still a shot. There was still a chance. There was still... Yes, that can change. We can still find out. That's what I'm saying. Now, I'm not wishing it was Willis or Alex. It's just the way they're acting. I mean, well, Willis mostly, not Alex. Alex seems, I don't know too much of information. I just know he has a bad drug history. It's just that oh no, law enforcement didn't do enough with Willis. And Willis didn't say enough. And Willis changes the story. And Willis didn't do anything. I mean, if you really think about it. If you really think about it. If he took the drugs along with him and slept for two days, why was the lawyer pushing so hard for earbuds and a fan? Think about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the issue of whether or not they voluntarily ingested it, whether they knew what they were taking, and if they didn't, who was responsible for the introduction of the fentanyl into whatever they ended up taking is, I think that's got to be where the police are going. And we'll see what happens from there. And then we'll get the autopsy report and see if so, the fentanyl contributed to the death. I mean, look, either way, it contributed. If they froze to death, it's because they took so much fentanyl yep. that they ended up outside yep. in a lawn chair. You know, yep. it, had, it had to so be. So one way or another, the fentanyl. Yeah, I mean, there's no factor. other explanation no. as to how they no. died other than right. drug use, right? Of course. So the question is just going to be. Well, it could who, be hypothermia. Well, no, fine, hypothermia. But the only reason that they're out in the cold is as because a result been, of being outside. Right. And, right. Of and, course. Right. Cold and 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 opioids yes. work the same way. They right. slow your respiration. Your heartbeat exactly. slows down. Your breathing slows down. You're outside. It's below zero. Right. At a certain point, your body doesn't support any right. kind of heat at all. Yep. Your temperature drops way down until uh, your heart right. stops. Yeah. That's what happens. Thank you for watching. Go to There's okay. Wait a minute. Some uh, hold on. I think I'm getting more in new information.
That was great information. It was because of the fentanyl. It was the outcome of hypothermia. It's still having, you understand? It's still at play. Somebody could be convicted. Hi, and then Jennifer Koffendorfer said this. They said that. And we knew this. We knew this. We knew this. We knew this. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. I just want justice proper if, if someone did this. I just want proper justice. Brittany, with the direct cash app, said, for you, you know I got to support the Novesity fan. Says Brittany, with the direct, direct support for Novesity. Thank you so fucking much. Oh, my God. You guys are nuts today. I might end up having to giving out another free T-shirt. Um, you know, you know what? Let's let's choose let's choose another let's let's choose somebody today. Let's choose somebody random. Um, let's 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 do that after the phone calls. Stay after the podcast. Um, after it ends, uh, I'm gonna choose somebody because these people are supporting the merch directly, and all this is going towards clothing. I appreciate. Oh, and the the streaming tools for me to go travel state to state. So if something happens. I'm going to be an independent journalist and I'm going to cover the scenes myself or go on live directly for you guys. So thank you. This is going to help with equipment. Thank you so much, Brittany and everybody else. I, I don't, I really don't deserve this. Um, let's get to it. Crystal, how's it going? This is No from the Vestity. How are you? Hi, No, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing so good to hear you. I'm doing so well today. Yeah. So, hey, listen, I was just talking to another person on the discord about this whole situation. And, you know, she was thanking me for um, calling in yesterday. But I just wanted to touch on two things for you. Number one, I did some investigation when I was at work last night. And whoa. Um, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on real quick. I have to mute everybody. If you did that, I have to. We have to talk in private. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. <laughs> Chat, guys, for specific purposes, I have to mute myself and her for just 10 seconds. I'm just trying to cover my ass and her ass. You, you would know why. If somebody can comment it below, I would appreciate it. Yeah, so. Absolutely not. All right. Nope, you're good. But thank you for asking. You're so well. I just want to make sure it doesn't violate any laws or anything with you. I want, I want to make sure you keep your job and know that you're safe and we love you and thank you for this. Yeah, no, I'm safe. It has nothing to do with my actual job. So we're good. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. So I guess you can tell us. So we get chat. We have someone that actually did some investigation. You're hearing it exclusively here on Novicity. And I want to say thank you, Crystal, for, uh, for this. I, I, want to, I, I want to say thank you. Uh, chat, do you guys want to hear the out, what, what Crystal actually did in her investigation? Uh, at, you, at, at work, you said? At work? You did it at work? I did. I did it at work last night, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, you know, yesterday when we were talking, I told you that I thought that possibly the marijuana that they smoked had been dipped in uh, the liquid fentanyl. Well, I did some investigation last night when I was at work about this pill form, this tablet. It's actually sublingual, which means it goes between like your gum and your cheek it or under your tongue. It disperses through your mucosal tissue. Um, and so the rapid action is what it's called. And it, it acts in five to 15 minutes. Like it, the set the onset is five to fifteen minutes. 
the peak effect, like the highest that you'll get with it, acts in 20 to 30 minutes. So the peak effect that they would have had had they used the tablet and just thought that they were popping a pill would have only been 20 to 30 minutes. So if they'd never used it before, again, we go back to what I said last night about them introducing cocaine as well and that causing them to go into ventricular tachycardia. In 20 to 30 minutes, that peak effect would have acted. They would have only had 30 minutes from the time they took they took that drug if it was taken by tablet form. Oh, my gosh. And that's by tablet. Imagine if they just sniffed it or something, correct? Right, right. If they chopped it up and they sniffed it. That's quicker. It would have acted even faster. Oh. It's almost immediately into your bloodstream at that point. Oh, my God. Yeah, so yeah. Give, so give me and your – yeah, go ahead. And so when if they had done it the right way, which is, you know, mucosal between their cheek and their gum or under their tongue, it would have 75% of that drug would have been absorbed into their mucosal tissues within 15 minutes. 75% of that the toxicity. So, shit, that, is a, that is so quick. And that's, that's just, just so sudden. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. So I'm thinking, um, you know, obviously the autopsy hasn't come out. We haven't really heard anything about the, um, the state of their bodies or anything like that yet. But if it comes out that there was abrasions on them or there was any kind of, um, you know, drag marks, it would make sense to me. Because what I think happened is I think that Jordan probably was like, hey, I've got these pills. Let's, you know, let's take them. They probably didn't realize how potent they were. And at that point, by the time they started to feel it, it was already too late. Their their heart was already having problems. Their respiratory rate was shutting down. They were starting to go into that immobilized state. He probably just thought that they were passing out. Once they were deceased and he realized that, I think that he moved them. I do. Really? I honestly... Yeah, and I actually had a dream about it this morning when I was sleeping when I got off of work and and I I that's my really honest my opinion is that they died from cardiac arrest. They were moved outside because he panicked and then he probably popped more pills so that he didn't have to, you know, think about it and passed out for 2 days. Uh, I still think he may have passed out for the 2 days. I'm not going to say he didn't. Uh fentanyl's pretty Fentanyl's pretty strong, but I mean, if you're talking about the patch form, no, I have to wear gloves when I put these patches on patients because just touching them can put it in my system. So it is, it is really potent stuff. Either way you look at it, whatever way they ingested it, mm -hmm. I do think it came from Willis. I think it came from Jordan. Um, and I don't think that these men had done it before. Otherwise, I don't think that the reaction would have been what it was. So, okay, that, that, that's a lot to, to take in. Okay, so yeah. as strong and potent as this is, and you're working with this, and you tested this, you, you can conclude, you know, but, but with, with your testing that they definitely died within the, they, they passed, I mean, well, mm, intoxicated in the first, I would say, what, five to ten? Wait, 15 to 30 minutes, five to 15, depending on how they took it, correct? Depending on how they took it, if they did it sublingual, it would have been a peak at um, 30 minutes would have been the longest it would have took for it to ah. peak and get completely into their system. Okay. But it, it takes effect within 15 minutes. 75% of the total potency of that drug that they took would have been in effect in 15 minutes. That's so, that's, that's really swift. That is really swift. Yeah. So was yep. it true what the doctor said is that they said that they would have never felt it if they were, if, if not cardiac arrest, they would have felt it. I mean, they, they wouldn't have felt anything. No, because they were already asleep at that point. Jeez, I mean, so it, it would have suppressed their respiratory system first, which once you suppress your respiratory system, your oxygen levels drop, right? So once your oxygen levels drop, you don't have enough oxygen pumping through your blood to keep your heart oxygenated to pump. 
Mm. And that's what would have put him into tachycardic arrest. So they would have passed out first, and then their heart would have stopped. Oh, Jesus Christ. So people in the chat yeah. on Facebook are asking about alcohol. So alcohol, basically all alcohol would have done was uh, accelerated the respiratory um, suppression because alcohol is a depressant. So alcohol and the fentanyl being depressants would dep depress the respiratory system to where they were barely breathing and not getting enough oxygen to oxygenate their blood that goes to their heart right, right, to right. pump. Right, right. Yeah. So damn, all it was that. Just, it, was just, trip, it was triple whammy for them. Like, I oh, mean. I see what you're saying. Well, well, if we know that there's more drugs, it'll be a quadruple whammy, if anything. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that they're going to find any more drugs. I think m almost all of the drugs that they would have tested for would have already been found. I'm not saying they won't, but in my experience in this 20 years I've been a nurse, I've dealt with a lot of that, and and usually whatever they find in the toxicology report is what it is. However, what I will say about also being a nurse for this long and, and dealing with all of these overdoses and stuff, the funny thing about the police, Nob, is that when you have a death that is um, unexpected or unnatural, such as these three gentlemen, um, there's always a coroner, a medical examiner, and the mm. police that do a thorough investigation of the scene, no matter what the reason of their cause of death is. If it's an unnatural death, meaning they didn't die from cancer, they weren't on hospice, it wasn't expected, um, there's always a medical examiner and a coroner that comes to the scene right. with the police. I mean, it was it was said by many people, even law enforcement, that said that they didn't do a thorough good job, like law enforcement didn't. Nope, they absolutely did not. So you nope, believe they that didn't. you you believe law enforcement really at the beginning they fuck they, they just fumbled this, correct? They didn't. They didn't follow protocol at all. It, it, at all. What shocked Anytime me the most is that they found something. They said even it was told by the mother that they found pills and all this stuff, and they didn't. They even touched it. They did. They think they thought not to even take it or nothing. Which is insane. Because when you have an unnatural death, your whole point is to investigate what caused the death. Correct. So correct, anything correct. that is out of place or anything that could have contributed to it, i.e. those pills, should have been taken into custody for forensic analysis. That is insane. So it was yeah. basically as we, we talked about yesterday and as we suspected. But it, 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 today was definitely more details about the, what, what it possibly could be. Mm-hmm. Well said. Well said. Thank you so much, Crystal. Very insightful. Very knowledgeable. Thank you for even testing this. That's insane. <laughs> Thank you so much, Crystal. Yeah, you're welcome. Call. We, we, I mean, listen, I didn't know I was going to have you again. I usually don't have like callers that, to call again, but I don't like I, I tried to not to duplicate calls. But when you send that super chat, that blew my mind. I was like, OK, we got to talk about this. Anything that can assist the case yeah. and help. And get proper justice or find the truth. I want. I want to get involved. Thank you, Crystal. Yeah. You are very knowledgeable, and thank you for your insight. We love you here yeah. so much, Onovesity. You are so amazing. Thank you. You're awesome too. I love you guys too. So I will let you go so you can finish your podcast. I'm gonna keep watching. We love you. Thank you so much. You can. I'm, I'm gonna bring you back love to you Jet too. Girl. Okay. Okay. All right. Insightful. Insightful. Okay. What did I miss? I, I, people are sending gifted subs on YouTube and I'm missing it. And I'm so sorry, guys. It's just, I, I'm, I'm doing so much work over here by myself. Hot honey. Hot honey. Did you give 10 and then five again, hot honey? I just need to know. Miss Sunshine with the 999 says, I do. I, Miss Sunshine, thank you. And I, many people do too. They believe that, you know, they do, Miss Sunshine. They do. They do. Thank you so much. Achilles uh, Wire says with the five super chat, where can I find out who supplied every one, one of them with the drugs? Because Willis and Alex had to get the drugs from somewhere. That is tomorrow's podcast. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about that. I want to say that for tomorrow for a specific reason I don't want to say. Hot honey with... Oh, honey, what is going on with you? 
Elizabeth, DC, Hot Honey, Steve, Nicole, everybody else. Guys, you guys are insane. You don't know what YouTube is going off today. I don't know what to say. Vicky over at Facebook Camp member Vicky Goldbrook. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Nova City Nation. Enjoy your perks. Debbie with 145 stars says, I love your podcast. Thank you. Debbie, you're so welcome. Thank you for joining Facebook. Shirley DeLong with 145 stars. Thank you, Shirley. I appreciate you so much. Enjoy your star badges and your perks. Hot Honey says with a 10 super, uh, 10 super chat, it will be so hard to prove in court if they know what they were talking about. Mm, especially if Jordan's toxic screen and rehab showed he took it too. Will be a great trial though did you get my cash app i sent you oh wait what I'll, I'll check it out hot honey i didn't see that hold on i did see uh is there another video wait there's another video i said britney 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 where are you britney in the chat britney These are great comments. You guys are very intelligent. Achilles with the five super chat says, everything that could have been done has not been done by the cops. Well said, Achilles. It hasn't. It hasn't. Uh, I do have a video, guys, but I, I don't think I can play this. Can I play this? Oh, I can't play that video. Oh, no. Why? No. Okay, let's continue. Stepmother of Kansas City Chiefs fans found dead alongside two others of HIV scientist friends home says his body was frozen and families were asked to wait to be thawed out. That is crazy. They had to be thawed out. Oh, there's a video for that. They had to be thawed out. Thawed out in order for them to actually get answers. That is so sad to hear. While this ad plays, we're going to wait for the video to play. Hot Honey says, I sure did know if I went to chat to be on C Green. <laughs> Trying to get you to 1 million followers so we can all hang out with you. Hot honey, you're intelligent. How did you know that? How did you know I said 1 million followers? How did you? Hot honey, thank you so much. How did you know? I'm not asked to go um, identify the body. They told us that the bodies um, have just all out. They were frozen. And that could have possibly have taken to that Friday. Well, we weren't really willing to wait that long. So I called the medical examiner the next day and um, I started describing Ricky's tattoos and his piercings. And she told me um, that that was one of the deceased that she had. Did you ask if you could come and um, make that identification personally yourselves? I did ask the, I did call the police and ask them if, if that is something we could do so we could get not identification sooner because you still hold the hope that he is going to come home. You want to make sure that that's him. I was told that that's something that you only see in news. Don't ask people to identify by. To be clear, they said that's something, that's only something they do in the movies if you wanted to identify right. Ricky yourselves. Is that clear? Yes, that's, that's for me. That is so sad. She had to wait for her son to be thawed out. Thawed out. Thawed. All right, guys, phone number is now pinned. YouTube and Facebook, now pinned. Now pinned. 
you have to text with your name and if you're a member or not. If your name and if you're a member or not, I would appreciate that very much. Now we are officially taking phone calls. This is, this is finna get crazy. I know with these phone calls, this is gonna get crazy. I know what you guys are talking on the phone. You guys never miss a beat. You guys never miss a beat. This, this is gonna get crazy. I know that for a fact. You don't see the number? It's pinned. It's pinned. I pinned it. Text with your name and you get a call. Let me know if you're a member, okay? If you have a crown or a Facebook badge. Somebody just said they are a member, but I need your name. I need you to text your name, please. Hot Honey with the five again. Damn it, Hot Honey. You told me the night on the podcast went down and you, you'll be back and I asked you if you could do a meet and greet. You said yes, after one million followers. You are correct. Damn, you pay attention. It's impressive. Hot Honey, thank you. You're correct. When I hit the one million followers, I will, I'm going to be traveling across the country and I can meet up with whoever or do a meet and greet. Okay, so... Um, I got a caller. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, shit. I got somebody in my DMs on Facebook. I'm not even lying. I got somebody in my DMs right now on Facebook, and they are an officer. I don't know. Hold on. I don't know if I should put an officer. Should I put a, I, can't, I can't put an officer if, if this person's willing to. Okay, if you are law enforcement, text your name. Let me know if you are. That would be great. That would be great. <phone rings> oh, that is loud. I am so sorry. Hello. Hey, caller. Can I get your name and where you're calling from? Yes, um, Fairy Dust Springs, and I'm calling from the Bronx. From the Bronx. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. That's good. That's so, that's I, so good to hear. You mind muting the, uh, <laughs> the podcast on your end, please? Uh, yes, hold on one second. Oh, it's my remote. Okay, sorry. No, you're so fine. You're so okay. fine. So, yeah. So, okay. what do you have to say about the case? So, I mean, there's a lot that I have to say about this case. Okay. I honestly, um, I mean, like, it's going everywhere at this point. So looking at all angles and sealing all air holes, I honestly believe the cousin when he said, I don't want him, you know, I don't like the fact that he treated my cousin like a uh, guinea pig. So my thing is this, is that, okay, if that's the case, now this guy knows him a way lot longer. So the thing is, go to the video. Okay, give me one second. Wait, what do you? I I didn't say anything. Oh, so um, yes. Yeah, so what I believe is that Jordan might not have taken anything at all. And I believe he factored up some synthetic stuff for these gentlemen to try because mm. it's not like they haven't tried what he's given them before. And this is why the cousin says that he was used as a guinea pig. So I don't think, honestly, I think that he did go upstairs. I think he was drunk and I think he did pass out. But I believe that he left it for them to do. And this is why when Alex left, he's saying that everybody was okay, you know, everything was all right. And this is what I believe, that they went outside to smoke. It's not like it wasn't something they have done before with Jordan, apparently. Mm, okay. So I see, I see I what you're saying. That, right. That Jordan might not have taken anything, but it scared him enough to go to rehab 
because of his own personal criminal record or traffic right. record, whatever you want to say. He wasn't. He has a bunch of DUIs and stuff like that. And I do also believe that he's either related through either an in-law or a cousin to somebody in the police department. And oh. they try to cover this as fast as they can. I mean, even let's hypothetically say it's one person that falls out. They do a whole investigation. Okay. But three people, three people with rigor mortgage going on and frozen out in the snow, and you're telling me that you didn't pick up a glass to check anything. You didn't, you know, like, hold on, you know, this. How do three people, like, that is alarming. One yeah. person is, is an alarm, but three, and then you just brush it and try to brush it under the rug as if, you know, this was just an accidental overdose because this is what we're used to mm -hmm. in Kansas. So wait, basically, wait, 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 wait. Are you from yeah. Kansas? No, no. I'm from, actually, I'm from New Mexico, but I live in the Bronx. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, my apologies. Yes. So and there you, are a you, lot of drugs that they like, you know, like meth, stuff like that out there. But what's concerning is that Jordan made these drugs before. Mm. Oh, oh, as what Caleb, as what Caleb said, allegedly. allegedly. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're be, yeah. You're, be, you're becoming a, a Novesity pro. <laughs> I have to make sure that I don't get nobody in trouble. Thank you. But, Thank you. Um, yes, absolutely. I believe that this is not new to them. This is something they've done in the past. And it was something that Jordan felt comfortable with leaving this stuff on the table to, for them to do when they wanted to do. And he went about his business and Alex left and they stepped out in the back. There was nobody to see what was happening. So they were there all night. And, right. you know, that's just basically my theory. And, you know, because that's what bothers me. But do you think this was intentional by Jordan? I don't, I don't think it was intentional because, like I said, I believe that this has happened in the past. Even the cousin ah. said he would make up drugs for okay. people for whatever mood they were wanting to be in. Right, so right, I right, believe right. he may have done it, but he may have done it being intoxicated and maybe over, you know, like didn't do the measurements correct. Right. And, and left it for them to do because it was something that they probably always did. So it was normal for him. That's probably, you know, somebody, I think Crystal said it, I believe that he, he, he is a, he's a drug addict. So maybe he had a higher tolerance that they were all well, doing I mean, it and, and Willis survived. You get what I'm saying? Right. But my thing is this, is that you have a guy that's bigger than he is. And you got a guy smaller than he is. And even if he did have a high tolerance, all three of them are just not going to, to drop in the backyard. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You know what? I'm going to ask that question to right. uh, a nurse again. Like, could, it, okay. could, 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 could tolerance outweigh BMI? You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, because they work that way with alcohol, but not as far as substances. Mm. And if they really wanted to get down with, with Jordan, they could always do a hair. They could pull his hair and get to the root and test that because that lasts longer in the hair. Right, right, right. Yes, okay. Hey, somebody better text. Hey, somebody better <laughs> tell Kansas City law enforcement before that hair dries up. <laughs> That's right. Before he shaves it. That's right. Caller, thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate it. No this. problem. This was thank very you, good. and I love your show. Love it. We love you, too. Thank you. Thank we appreciate you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. I have somebody who actually takes fentanyl. Like, I think somebody said they're addicted to it. This is insane. This is, this is wild. Hold on, guys. I got to get to priority number one. This is priority. It is uh, direct contributions to... Um, Novicity. This is very important because this is going to allow me to keep doing the podcast. Monty with the five super, super uh, with the five uh, cash app. Same thing as super chat, but you get a direct on the screen. 
Thank you so much, Monty. We appreciate you over at Novesity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much, so much. Okay, that, oh, that, oh, okay, okay, so we do have a caller. We do, we do have a caller. You guys ready for this call? Are you guys ready for this call? Let me know. Let me know if you're ready. Uh, I'm waiting for more updated articles. I do have one more. Oh, and another new video. Not, so we got new video, new article, and a call. Nicole Holder from Cash App. She says, uh, with a 25, Nicole Holder, so pretty. For you deserve all the success. Nicole, I thank you. Like, trust me. Like, th th from the bottom of my heart. I, I don't deserve this. I don't. I don't. Trust me. I, I'm, I'm nothing without you guys. Absolutely. I'm dog water. Trust me on that. I'm very serious. This, is, this means a lot to me. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Meet and greet says the gift that keeps on curse in New York. Possible. You know what? Let it be the first place. Brittany. All right. New video. Time. So now there's an official timeline for Kansas City Chief fans, Death Investigates, January 7th, David, Ricky, and Clayton. House, watch the game. January 9th, I gotta read fast, I gotta skip lines. McGinney fiance shows up at home, breaks in, sees the man dead on porch. She sees David, only one man. January 9th, moving forward, police survives and find two other bodies in the yard. That they had found three dead bodies, and I just was kinda in disbelief. I was like, wow, I watched that happen. January 10th, police issued a statement saying they found no obvious, no obvious sounds of foul play. Everybody's furious. Nobody believes this story. Jennifer, that's the mother of David, says she does not believe the story. Author uh, authorities identified, damn it, this is too fast. Authorities identified three victims' bodies on January 12th. We're, we're working our way to February 1st, guys. These are the three beautiful gentlemen that sadly died. My condolences again. January 18th, police tell News Nation they are waiting for the medical examiner's determination of the cause of death. That's what we've all been waiting for. January 19th, the tenant's attorney tells News Nation his client had no idea his friend's bodies were in his backyard. We don't know if that's even fact because of contradictory statements. DC, I'm so sorry. I have to say it. I'm not worthy, DC. DC is about to whoop my ass. Here we go. So oh, he had no knowledge that they were out there until, uh, you know, Tuesday when he was told that they were out there. At this point, the Now, February 1st. This is February 1st. No, hot honey, I didn't receive anything from Cash App. I'm sorry. I know Karen down for the ghetto. Almost 38 and it's still up. Oh, wait a minute. So, wait, somebody just said, hold on. Karen over, uh, uh, remember Karen says, almost 30 days is up for Jordan's hair. Is that true? Does it last that long? Crystal, can you tell me if it lasts that long in the hair? No, do not show Cash App tags on live. They are being cloned. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you, Tabs. Thank you for telling me. I'll do that. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. Sparrow with the oh with a silver badge says three months. Sparrow, thank you. Crystal said yes, it can. Okay, okay. All right, we're learning new stuff. This is new information. Family sources say the primarily toxicology report showed traces of fentanyl, cocaine, and some THC in the victim's system. Shit! Is the one that gave it to them? And who is the one that needs to be held responsible? I mean, I think it's important to note that at this point, no official toxicology report has been released. What I can say is that this is just the first step. I, I don't think that anyone familiar with this situation or this investigation <laughs> thought that there wasn't something else in play here. 
All right. Who agrees he should, he should get his hair tested? And Alex as well. Oh, I'm right. Yes. Fuck, I knew it. Crystal said, yes, tolerance can outweigh BMI. <laughs> Fucking knew it. I knew it. I called it. I friggin' knew it. I knew it. Yo, this is why. This is still an open investigation. We're going to find out. I have a good, good feeling. I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. Crystal, thank you. Everybody in the chat. I mean, everybody, literally. Jamie Harden says, bring it, baby. Jamie says, bring it. Bring it. Get involved. Get active. We're, we can find out. Show me those text messages. Poor victims. Show me your messages. Who got the drugs? Who did it? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nothing in the text messages? Chat, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No text messages. You know what that means? Who's the chemist? A lot of people say that he actually makes this shit. Pharmaceutical license? Hello? Hello? Bring it. Come on now. Come on. Wake up, no, no Vicity Nation. Wake up. Wake up. There is still not a chance that, yes, this could have been given by someone other than these three victims that possibly didn't have it. All the family members are saying that they are not addicts. They are not drug takers. Yeah, alcohol, maybe a little weed in there. But damn, wouldn't it make sense that if he provided the drugs, he survived because he outweighed the BMI rating that the others are not, you know? I don't believe they just openly take fentanyl. I don't believe they just openly take cocaine. Bring it, come on, man, wake up! Now this is making sense. Now we're getting, we're getting there. We are getting there. We are getting there. Fuck. I, I knew it today was, a, was, was the right day. Was the right day. Thank you all. It's, it's because of you. Y'all. Y'all mad intelligent. I'm telling you. Cross-reference what you guys say, what you know, your expertise with, 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 with the news reports, with the articles. You can cross-reference this data. And understand this. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Get involved. All right. I have to take phone calls for five minutes now. Strictly five minutes. There's another new video. I want to get involved. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Uh... Christina, wait, Christina Farley, do you have a badge next to your name? Ooh, I'm gonna take this phone call. I'm gonna take this phone call. Hello, this is Nove from Novestity. Yeah. How are you? Hello? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hey, call it that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not my end. Hello? Hello, is it? Can't be me. It says that it's not me. Uh, let's try something else. I'm sorry about that, chat. Give me one second real quick. Mm. Damn, 
that was a good call. That was a good call. Damn it, that was a good call. Nah, I can't call that person no more. Damn, that was a good call. Damn, that was a good, that would have been a good interview. That would have been a good interview, damn. Guys, I got somebody in the field. I got somebody in the field. Hello, this is No from Novesity. How are you? Hello. Hello, Christina. Hello. Hello. Chris hey, Christina, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, what's up? How are you? Well, uh, thank you for uh, calling Novesity. Good. How are you? I'm doing so good. So, yes, I'm giving people five minutes each to discuss uh, this case. You have anything to say specifically? Yeah, um, I'm just going to try to bring through this quick. So It's okay. Um, okay. So I wanted to touch base on um, the fact about um, Willis not, you know, not passing and why he could have not passed. And if he did ingest the medication, why it could have, he didn't pass like the others did. Um, I have a, I'm in recovery. I've been clean for 20 years, over 20 years. Oh, um, of, of fentanyl? Um, no, from... This is where the story gets up from pain medication. And then I had to get on methadone to get off of it, which um, I was on for about 15 years. And then I made the decision that I didn't want to be on that at all. And the doctors were, to make a long story short, weren't really supporting my decision to quickly stop. So I did that on my own. It made me become very, um, when I tried to stop, just, just, straight out with nothing right it affected the way like normal some people not normal i want to say most people will have like physical symptoms like throwing up mm. you know going to the bathroom a lot really sick sweating it affected me mentally it was the scariest thing in my life but so it like i wasn't thinking clearly i just needed to think clearly that's how scary it was so what someone who gave me was a fentanyl patch which was 100 milligrams you took okay. fentanyl. Oh. Okay. A patch. I put that on my body because at that point I was going to the hospital one way, the, one way or the other. That's how scared and, and not okay I was. <laughs> so that patch, what it does is it releases 100 milligrams of fentanyl in your system every hour for 72 hours. M it, mic micrograms, it, no? Yes. It did not, when I say... It, the only thing it did to me was, now mind you, I had nothing in my system except just the methadone. And wait, I'm, I'm lying. I, um, I'm on an antidepressant called clonazepam, which is kind of like right. Xanax and stuff like that. Um, just a very weaker form at that point. Um, so I did have a bend, the benzo. So I did have benzo in my system. I was petrified of what it was going to do to me. Like I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to overdose. Like I've never touched heroin or anything like that. I only, that not, that not that it's any different. I mean, it is in a way, but I took pain medication. Um, so when I put the patch on, I assumed that I was just going to either end up in the hospital overdosing. I had someone there um, that wasn't experienced, not an addict or whatever, that w was watching me. Um, so I'm ending up in the ER either way, I figured. And it did not touch me. It made me feel completely normal, more normal than the methadone did. Really? Here's the thing. Yes. Um, you would think 100 milligrams, okay? You put this patch on, it goes into your blood. Now, when it goes into your stream and it releases 100 milligrams every hour for 72 hours, that, that specific patch that I had on did. Now, people can open the patch up and ingest it that way. Mm. Um which is, um, I'm living in Philadelphia. Um, a lot of it's bad here. The drug epidemic is really bad here. Um, but the thing is that the other thing, you now, 50%, this is a fact. You can Google it. Uh, ask the AI assistant. This is a fact. There is what's called, I'm not sure the long name. It's the, 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 the initials. Or if you look up M T H F R, 
gene mutation. Surprisingly, 50% of population have it. It can, it, um, one of the major things is that it affects the way people's body metabolizes different things, um, like medication. I have a whole list of medication um, that I can't take or I will have a very bad reaction to. Okay. Um, simple things. Um, others make like, like when I used to have to go, when I had to go to my doctor's where I went and I would get my medication called med- medically assisted treatment. Anyone in addiction knows what that is. Mm-hmm. Um, so you get drug tested um, every time you go to make sure you're clean. They test you there and they send it out. Um, I can actually send you a copy of mine so you can see how in depth because it, it doesn't just go underneath, like, okay, say it tests for the benzos, then it goes under clonazepam, then it goes under, like, you know, like Xanax, all that are said. Then it goes under the other, like, a couple others. It goes, like, really in depth. You'd be surprised. But um, so when um, I made the choice to stop taking, I mean, all the medications, even medications that, you know, was on for a while, I wasn't using them illicitly they were prescribed for you know my mental health i just was at a point in my life where i just wanted to stop and just not be on anything and just see how it felt to you know if i could get back to feeling like normal without having medication not that there's anything wrong with it but what because my metabolic disorder because of mthfr there were times where the medication that they were giving me was showing up in such a minimal amount and it was a high dose, but yet the other medication that I was taking, that I was taking a minimal amount of, was showing up astronomically high. To the point where the doctor had me come in, take the medication in front of him, wait an hour, take the test again, wait another hour, take it again, and send that all out. So, so, so you you mixed all these drugs together, and then it turns out that the ones that were a little bit the fentanyl made them skyrocket hot, skyrocket high. No, what I'm saying is, everyone's wondering. Okay, well, what did your, what did Willis do? I'm sorry. Like, did he take it, and why didn't he die? I'm trying to, I'm trying to shed some light on. Yeah, what, what Willis, you know. right, right. Yeah, fifty percent of if you if you Google it'll say it'll show you fifty percent of population has has this gene mutation. It's very very common, but since it's genetic it's not something that's commonly tested for oh, more i see what you're saying like, he has a mutation that allows him yeah okay i understand yeah. what you're saying so, okay okay so if he like just like me like you would think that i had nothing in my system except now mind you this is about the fourth day i was went with I was on methadone to get off you know that was the medical assistive treatment medication so when i stopped the methadone it was the fourth day that's when mm. i started becoming like hallucinate like my mind i I, it was it was the very scariest feeling in my life. So now I had such a minimal amount and I had no other illicit medication. So you would think me taking and putting on a hundred milligram fentanyl patch would have killed me. That's what I assumed. But to me, like I wasn't clear in the way I was thinking back then at that point because of the way I, I what it did to my mind. But it didn't save me. I actually felt completely normal. So medication, yeah, it can be okay, have a different effects on people, you know, smaller people, like they say with the alcohol, you know, thinner, you know, little people, not little people, but smaller, thinner framed people, you know, lightweight people will get drunk faster, you know, it's just kind of, you know, like that. But it's, he could have very easily like taken that and, like th- what the lady said, now the one medication that I tried in between there was sublingual. It that medication also, when you take medication like that, it says even in the instructions, I always read directions, but I'm one to look into things. It tells you that um like not to drink for like a half hour. Drink I don't mean alcohol, anything, like water, any type of like, you know, fluid or like smoke a cigarette or anything because it affects the way that um, anything sublingually goes into your body. When you put it, like she was trying to explain when what she's, when you put it like kind of like under your tongue. 
Uh-huh. It's supposed to go under your tongue or go into the side of your cheek. So that's where it, it absorbs into. But it's just that he very well could have that gene. Because like I said, 50%, you can look it up and show it on yeah. there. And can, it'll... You, can you do me a favor? Can you message me that gene? I will pull it up on screen, okay? Yeah. I'm yeah, but I'm up. like, because for him not to, I mean, this is assuming that he did take it, but it, you'd be, I was so surprised when I did the research on it mm-hmm. that, you know, because it said 50% of people have it. I'm like, okay. Like me, I can't take vitamin D. It'll okay. kill me. That's something. It's a natural vitamin, something you produce. Some people have vitamin D deficiencies where it can cause health issues, blah, blah, blah. So, so you really need to take vitamin D. Well, my body doesn't metabolize vitamin D. So, the and thank God I asked the pharmacist why I'm getting this medication. It's like 50,000 BTUs of vitamin D. That would have made my body toxic. I would have died. Thank God I'm not a vitamin person. Like, I get nauseous very easily when taking vitamins, probably because of the way my body metabolizes it. Yeah. But it's like, he... It's not just people are thinking, okay, everyone's taken, well, you know, everyone, let's, they all took fentanyl. Well, why right. didn't he die? Because, right. Oh, he's a bigger guy. No, meta- your, your body, metab- everybody's body metabolizes things differently. Yeah. And given the fact that 50% of the population, this is a fact, has this gene mutation that it's very common, um, that some people, like me, like I thought I was going to end up in the hospital Either way, and I said, hey, I'm going to end up there because they need to give me something. I'm going to end up there because I took something and it made me, if it's not going to, it's going to make me sick or better. Or either way, like, I'm going to, I have someone else. I'm glad that you're, you know, I'm I'm glad that you're okay. I'm glad that you're, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're you're here with us. Like, for real, that's, that's crazy. I'm going to, can you please text me that, that, that information, please, that, that, so I could look it up for the chat. Yeah. Do you want me to um, text you? Like, I'll block out like my name, but like of what a like a drug screen looks like, like so people can see because it's more like how they're no, saying no, it no, is. No, 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 that's no, no, no. That's fine. That's that's really personal. I, I, I'm not gonna block it out, but I don't want to do that. It's fine. It's all good. That's really sweet of you. That's so sweet. Yeah. I really yeah, appreciate it goes that. Into, it does go into like it doesn't just test, and I mean this is just urine. So and also with the hair follicle. Hair follicles um, testing when they test the hair. Um, I know this because, like, I've had people, you know, when I was in the program that um, were, you know, clean for a, like a while, and then randomly they would get this medication that would pop up in their, um, like, in their urine, and it would be like a month or two later that they would bring it up. And, you know, some of these people have what they call take-homes, which, you know, they allow you to have medication taken home. Well, you lose right. that because they're saying, oh, well, you failed the drug screen. And they're, you know, they're adamant. No, I did not. The only way to prove that it was they can do a hair follicle test. Months later, that was the only, because you can't do a urine because by then it's out of your system. So the hair follicle test, I'm not sure the exact amount, but it's way longer than 30 days. I can also yeah. tell you that. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. test his hair. I'm not sure of like what substances they and I imagine mm-hmm. no fentanyl will come in there as well, but it stays in there for a while. So yeah. that yeah, would be what, something that's they what, could that's do. That's what Crystal told me in the chat. She said that um uh that it could last up to uh, to thirty days. So I, I hope that they, they do that. Uh, yeah, no, it's way longer than thirty days. Way longer than thirty days. I can tell you that for a fact. It's way longer. It's okay. at least at least at least the very minimal this is from someone personally I knew because they almost took her kids away because they were it was coming up something came up so the clinic called you know human DHS on her and she did not take anything and this was but you know they were saying oh well what not you do now because this was two months ago you know they didn't say anything until two months later right. and so she took the hair follicle test and sure enough Everything comes up in the hair follicle set. It stays in there. And she was right. Like, you know, right. she didn't take it. It will show everything. And it, but it's, it's a lot longer than 30 days. It's a lot right. longer. And they'll probably get into it more when, you know, when more of the results come back. Like, more yeah. will probably come out and, like, more reports. 
you know, people, more professionals will start getting into it more detail. Yeah, but, especially pathologists. You know. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Christina. Yeah. I appreciate you so much for giving us this You're insight. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for being and watching the show. We appreciate you. I, I, thank you so much. You're so welcome, Christina. Have, Take have care. a good we night, everybody, you. and stay safe. All right, now. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. All right. Let's, let's, we're going to have to do one caller. Um, let's, let's do, uh, who is this individual? The officer that, uh, I, I, I won't be able, I, I, yeah, Stella Marie, don't be afraid. Okay, hold on. Thank you, Starry Night. You're doing a very, very well modding Starry Night. And we love you and we appreciate you. Honey Bee says tolerance and BMI both affect how we respond to drugs. Tolerance can make you need more higher doses over time, regardless of your BMI. While BMI can influence how a drug is distributed in your body. Ooh, Honey Bees. Good, nice super chat. Thank you for letting me know. Well done. Well said, honeybees. Well said. Well said. That's why I love Super Chat. God, YouTube, thank you for Super Chat. Thank you. I can't, I don't want to miss these important comments. You know, it's really hard because the chat goes so fast. It goes so, so, so fast. Direct dono from Cash App. Submitted right on your screen from Cheryl with the 25. She says, for continued blessings, Nov. Cheryl, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, Cheryl. That, that, it means a lot. Thank you. Beverly, with the direct support, says 20. For, uh, for keep up the good work. You know, mama always said that not only a man has a way with words, but so do, a, so do girls. Because that is, you're, thank you. That means a lot to me. That's, for keep up the good work. That means a lot. I will. I do this for you guys. Absolutely. I hope I make good entertainment and, and, and true crime telling for you guys, honestly, especially getting justice, the proper justice. I hope so. Um, remember, guys, if I'm ever doing something that you do not like or I can do better, please, I swear to God, I take criticism so well. In the Discord, there's a section for that. Tell me, hey, no, you should try this or maybe doing that. I beg you, I'm begging you, please. I want to, I'm always looking to improve. A wise man, imp, a wise man loves criticism. It makes him into a better man. I really truly believe that. Like, like, like I believe a wife is good. I think a wife can make a husband into a better man. That's what I believe. Please, if anything you can tell me how I can make this stream better, please tell me, okay? The two direct from Heather says, you uh, for have we confirmed Willis missing from rehab? Willis is missing from rehab. That was said yesterday. We had their good take. I don't know if this is true or not. Is this true from, from Heather? Chat, everybody. Chat, is this true from Heather? I think for, the, I think for cash app donations, I'm going to do bigger. It's going to take the whole screen. Because they are priority. Is this true, chat? It's okay, Christina. Oh, you don't have a badge, Christina. Oh, shit. It's okay. Holy shit. I did not know that. Damn it. Is he missing? These are rumors. Hello, caller. This is Noel from Avesity. How are you? Yes. Thank you so much. Can I get your name? Where are you calling from? Joanne. Joanne, thank you so much. If you're watching the podcast, you can mute that side and you can talk to me directly. Yes. Yes. So you said that you worked in the biomedical field for 25 years. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Can you give me some insight on the case? Um... Well, first of all, um, I will tell you access 
to numerous drugs, even pure cocaine is very possible. If he was running any of the studies, um, with HIV studies, you can see them getting certain drugs. Um, I work right now currently at a university and they have gotten cocaine and other drugs to run studies on rodents. So oh, okay. you, you will see that. Um, and they, I've seen it in other industries where they have actually dockyard uh, records for when the DEA comes in. Um, I mean, anything's possible. Mm. So, 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 what can, in your specialties, so like, and, and, and you being a specialist, what can you provide us some insight on this case of what's being dealt with? Um, I want to back up a little bit. It hasn't been confirmed nor denied whether his dogs were there or weren't. Correct. The body cam footage needs will either see or hear the dogs, especially two pits. You're going to hear them barking. I don't know anybody who would just send their dogs away when people are coming over. That's, you know, everybody wants their dogs around people. So why were they sent away? Okay. Um, I personally have known more than enough people who have passed from fentanyl and mm. it doesn't discriminate, does not discriminate. I live in a good area. I could walk down the street now and get it. Really? It's everywhere. Mm. I mean, that's why I even tell the young kids, I go, listen, don't even get a joint off anybody. If you're going to go, go to the CBD stores, you know, do not get anything off anybody's street. No, your vet offices are being broken into. They're getting dialysine. They're, they think they're getting oxy, um, Codone, but they're they'll take the wrong bottle and get oxycot and wow. I mean um they'll, they'll take Fe the um I'm gonna screw it up they're, they're thinking that they're going to get oxycodone but they get um oxytocin that's gonna that's what they use um for women to induce labor so they get the wrong drug and just give themselves horrible cramps. So, I mean, my own personal vet has been broken into numerous times. So, I mean, you have that. So a lot of stuff from the animal industry goes into the street use. That's where you see the xylazine. Another thing is if he was working in the HIV and, yes, he was working mainly from home, but if he was working in an industry where they had animals that they did research on, I have worked with HIV studies which had primates, which mainly use ketamine. Ketamine Ooh. will paralyze them and knock them out. Right. Okay. So, so you, is, is, is ketamine worse than, than, than uh, fentanyl? Ketamine will not, quote, kill you, but it doesn't take much to knock you down. Um, it's something that a lot of the hospitals will use in terms of giving you... Um, a shot of ketamine, like if you went in there, like high on PCP, they uh, give you a shot. Of okay, okay, I get you. I get you now. Right, and right. And it's not on your ass. Got you. So basically, and you're aware of anything, but you're not got, able to move. Okay, got you, got you. Okay, it's basically what the, the, the basically what the pathologist was saying and what Crystal was saying. Okay, I, I yep. I now understand more, even more. Okay. Thank you so but much it, for, for it, like for saying that. No problem, but it's out there and just I want people to make their kids aware. Like I wouldn't even be I don't do drugs, but I wouldn't even be somewhere and like smoke a joint with anybody nowadays. I mean, I was personally smoked a joint and I literally passed out at a concert with the speaker next to my head for hours. Oh so, and I mean, I'm talking this was like 30 years ago. So it's it's out there from years ago, but it's getting back. Like the xylazine is the stuff now that's like making 
people's flesh being eaten alive. Oh, my God. Yes, when they start mixing that because they can't get the heroin, they can't get the cocaine, they can't, whatever's hot in the area. Right. And I'll tell you, I, I have an ex who I didn't know at the time was on, I thought he was just a hard worker, but he was taking Adderall. When he wasn't on Adderall and working 16, 18 hours a day, oh, he, would literally, he would literally sleep for 24, 30 hours straight without even getting up to go to the bathroom. So, well, what, I mean, that's... Well, what about, but what about 48 hours? You know what? It's possible. It's possible. It, I, I wouldn't... What, what I'm saying I mean, is, what am I saying is taking these drugs and doing it for this long, 48 hours would have to be so much drugs that you would have to pass in some way, no? You know, you, your, your body just gets into a state, you know? I mean, who knows? He could have, like, urinated on himself, and that's why he was walking around in boxes, you know? Who knows? I mean, I, I can't get past over the wine glass. I can't. Yeah, I mean, to me, it looks like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't know. I mean, but to see somebody pass out like that, you'd say, oh, God, no. But I've seen, you know, I mean, think about it. When I remember being sick as a kid with mono and I'd wake up and I didn't know what day it was. So, I mean, it happens. It's mm. not normal. You know? Okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, you start throwing alcohol, you got up and down and everything in between and something your body's not used to, you know, tolerance, everything everybody's saying is true. Like, you don't know what's how, you know, five of us could take, you know, a normal dose of, you know, medicine and it's going to hit each of us differently. Somebody's going to get a stomach ache, someone's going to be vomiting, Someone won't feel anything. Someone may feel dizzy. No two people are alike. Your body chemistry is all made up differently. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for, for telling me this. this is very informative, and I really appreciate you so much. And, oh, no uh, problem. Thank you You're for watching the podcast. You're taking a look at YouTube. <laughs> Thank Thank you, so much. you too. Now, bye -bye. All these ladies are out to you. <laughs> say, say that one more time. I said, "Watch out! All these ladies are going to be fighting over you." Oh, I'm not. I'm not worthy of any of y'all ladies. Y'all, you guys are way. <laughs> I am not worthy of any of these ladies in the chat. They, they are too good. Too, too good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worthy of that. None of that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so That's much. Nice. All right. Bye bye. Good phone calls. Good phone calls today. Very good phone calls. Um. I try to call up a member, but the person would not pick up. Um. Let's see here. I want to thank everyone who supported the channel today. Super Chats members, gifted subs, Super Chats, direct, literally direct, Brit Brittany! Brittany with the 25 direct, she says, for you, do deserve it all. Callate. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Callate! How you know about that? Thank you, Brittany. I appreciate you. Oh, claro que se mira. Tu estás bien? Tu estás bien? I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Three hours, two and a half hours. Oh, damn. I, oh my gosh, guys. I've been on this stream for two and a half hours. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I owe you guys an apology. All right, we'll turn off the podcast. I stream I, today. I had to stream late. I'm so sorry. I had internet issues again. As you can tell, the, the internet went out and it messed up YouTube and I crashed on Facebook and it went back up on Facebook. So 
I'm working with the internet people that I have here. I am so sorry, guys. Please. Um, I'm so sorry. Mrs. Thompson, you can text the phone number. I cannot. You have to text. You have to say, hey, this is Mrs. Thompson. If you are a member or not, please. 24-hour stream time. Aaron, hell no. 24 hours is crazy. You guys are wild. 24 hours. You need sleep. Nicole Holder, I promise you I'll sleep. I was going to get some water. I didn't get no water, but I don't want to uh, get up because I'm wearing silk briefs, underwears, boxers, and I don't want to be walking up in the stream and my thing is swinging. I don't want to do that. Um, but I am. I'm going to get sleep and some food. I've been texting the wrong number for weeks. It's okay, K. Cole. It's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Um, let's see here. You need that merch. Yes, merch is coming real soon. I already made the sweaters. The shirts are done. The sweaters are done. I just got to get the samples, talk to the editor again, and test for product. Um, and I'm, oh, let me give out a free shirt today. I was supposed to wait till like next week, February, but let me give out one shirt. So we got YouTube right here. Let's see who we got on YouTube. Let's, let's, let's choose somebody over here on YouTube first, and then we'll choose somebody on Facebook. All right, let's give out a free, a free shirt. I'm just here walking around my house with my empty wine glass. Starry night, stop it. Starry night, stop. Oh my gosh. TMI, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing like that. I was just trying to say that I, why I didn't get, like, get up or nothing or food or just all of a sudden. Starry night, stop. All right, Facebook, you're next. Facebook. How about hat? Sally, yes, you are correct. All right, let's get somebody random here. All right, um, how I'm going to do this? Oh, let's do it like this. Oh, wait, Kina with the direct support. She said with the 10. Kina, I'm so sorry. She said, for I told you when you get this, I'd help. Kina, you're right. You did say that. Kenna, Kenna, Kenna uh, Burgoon. You did. You did. You did. You did, Kenna. Kenna, thank you so much, Kenna. I love the direct see, I love the direct support from uh from uh from soup, uh, uh, Cash App. Somebody, whoever said that on Cash App two weeks ago, I should set that up. I set it up and you were right. It is way better. Yeah, Cash App, then Super Chat, then yeah, you guys are correct on that. You guys are right. And I know when I'm wrong. Oh, I know when I don't know. I, I trust me. I take accountability very well. It's, only, it's the only way to grow as a man. All right, let's, let's get somebody in here. Um, let's get somebody a lucky shirt here. A uh, lucky piece of clothing. Let's see. All right, we're going to do it like this. We're going to choose somebody, okay? Let's see. All right, it's YouTube, comment, because I'm going to choose one of you guys. Facebook, you're next. All right. All right, let's see. Um, it was supposed to be for members first, right? Yes, members and super chatters, right? Oh, so yeah, the the t-shirt. All right, so yes, my clothing is not going to be what you, my, my clothing is going to be quality. It ain't no rinky dicky $10 shirt. No, it's not. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. No, I don't do that stuff. I don't make cheap material. I don't play. I don't do that. I learned my lesson. I did, I did create merch a long time ago. It was what? It was $18 or 20 bucks for the shirt, right? $18. And it was the worst quality ever. And it, I was embarrassed. I told myself I would never do it again. Crystal Powell with the super chat. Crystal is wilding out today. She said, no, you need to eat, hydrate, and rest your brain. Crystal, you're right. And I'm so sorry. You're right. Nicole and Crystal, you're right. I, I need to. And I do apologize. I do apologize. You're right, Crystal. I'll do that. Darcy Miller says, can you look up level 30? You just put up milligrams because it's definitely different from milligrams. It was micrograms. I corrected myself, Miller. Darcy Miller, that's a very good super chat. It was micrograms. Correct, right, Crystal? Let me know, Crystal, if I'm correct. Crystal, very, she knows about it. She's very intelligent. All right, let's, let's choose somebody on Facebook real quick. Everybody stay in the chat. And let's choose somebody lucky. The merch won't be released, though. It's not going to be released until a couple months. Somebody said... 
Daddy of crimes. Who said that? All right, randomly, randomly, and random, random, random. Why am I giving it out for free? I'm giving it out for free because it, if somebody, if you support me, I, I want to show you how transparent and real I am. I want to give it to you back. I want, you want me to just take, take, take and not give back? I, no, I came from the hood. I grew up poor. I grew up in a ghetto. I remember when I had nothing for breakfast. I remember when I shared a cheeseburger with my mother for dinner from, from McDonald's. I would never forget that night. If I'm receiving so much, I'm going to give back to the poor. I'm going to give back to my mother. And I'm going to give back to the chat. That's all. That's period. I, no, I have to give back. All right, let's go. For free. Free chat. Oh, you know what? Maybe tomorrow I should give out a, a, a hoodie or a t-shirt with my signature on it. That's what I should do. Well, my signature, that would go, that's actually crazy. Crystal Ronards, you just became a Novesity Nation member. Welcome to the family. Enjoy your perks, priority, and giveaways. No, did you eat today? Hot honey, I'm not gonna answer that question. It's not even micrograms. Oh, it's not? I thought it was micrograms. Crystal, am I, am I wrong here? I, I, I'm pretty sure I did my, I'll look it up, I'll look it up. All right, let's see. YouTube first, then uh, Facebook. You need to get an app for this, I know. So many comments. All right, and three, five, four, three, two, one, chosen. Supporter, ta member Tara Mick on YouTube. Tara Mick on YouTube. Congratulations. Tara Mick on YouTube. Congratulations. Tara, you know what? Let's do another one. Let's do another one on YouTube. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Because everybody's literally directly downloading from Cash App. Honestly, I want to thank all these people. Thank Brittany. Thank Amber. Thank Heather. Thank, like, these are the people that's helping me do this. Let's do another one on, on YouTube. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. 10 seconds. Do one for Elizabeth. Oh, don't worry about it. Elizabeth, DC, Nicole. I got, I, trust me. I, I know what I'm going to do. Don't worry about it. Elizabeth, Nicole, DC, Hot Honey, Brittany. Don't worry about that. I, I, don't worry about that. I'm, I'm, trust me. I got, I got good plans. All right, let's do another one on YouTube. Facebook, you're next. Facebook, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I want to be very generous today. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh shit, I gotta do it again, fuck. Five, oh, damn it, five. I didn't, I pointed, but it didn't point, point. I, I didn't, that didn't count. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the chat is going up, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nalita Marrero, Nalita Marrero, over at YouTube. Nalita Marrero, over at YouTube. Nalita Marrero over at YouTube. These people are going to get, along with the members, the first batch of Chronicle. You're going to get the first batch. If I called your two names, can you please message me on Discord? And congratulations, all right? You got, uh, you got it. You got it. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be giveaways. Trust me. There's gonna, 
I'm going to do uh, giveaways uh, like until it comes and I have to stop doing the uh, the giveaways until the release. Um, let's do Facebook real quick, all right? Let's do Facebook. Uh, Facebook, 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 Facebook. Facebook, where are you? There you go. Let's do one on Facebook. Don't worry about it, guys. If I didn't chose you, trust me. Don't worry about it. You, you trust me. This, this, this. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Far from over. Far from over. Where are you? There you go. You, you. Far from over. Dude, my voice is completely fucking irritating as fuck. All right, Facebook. Here it is. Facebook. Facebook. Where is it at? Uh, Facebook. I have to do it like this. Oh, no. No, I don't. I have to do it like this. Okay, got you. I got it. All right, Facebook. 10 seconds, Facebook. Holy chicken strips. All right. Facebook. In 10. Not, it only shows a little bit of people. It's not letting me. It's it's so slow. Okay, I'm gonna have to choose it from here. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to choose it. On my, this is fast. I, I'm getting everybody that comments immediately. It shows up. I'm I'm so sorry. I'll show you. I make a video for proof. I, I don't fuck around. I don't have to lie. All right, I'm making a video of it so you know I'm not bullshitting. Comment Facebook in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Anne Marie Shenton. Anne Marie Shenton. Anne Marie, message me on Facebook. Anne Marie Shenton over at Facebook. Remember, guys, if I called your name because I don't want to forget, please. Please, please, please. You rock, no. No, you guys rock. I, I have to get back. If I don't, my mama will probably whip my ass. For real. All right. More giveaways to come, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to... I There is going to be a cat to the giveaway because I have to create it, get samples, make it, and give it to you guys first before I distribute it. So we'd have to do three more, three more, three more giveaways. So I did the first three. So three... Guys, trust me. If you, got, if you haven't yet chosen, you, even if you get it chosen, if you are a member, you're going to get the merch first. You got, don't worry about it. You guys are taken care of. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. Um, this is the end of the podcast. I love you guys so much. Thank you for... Uh, Craig, I don't have a wife. Craig, stop. Craig Perkins, stop. Craig, how you doing, Craig? I love you. I love you so much. Love you. I love you. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Hit the like, share if you haven't. Hit the like button over at, at YouTube. I would appreciate it so much. If you don't, that's fine. I still love you. It don't matter. I love you guys so much. Like, so incredible. You guys are incredible. Facebook, I love you. I love you guys. You only picked one on Facebook. Yes, I only picked one on Facebook because I have to go with the ratio. There are triple the amount of people on YouTube to Facebook. That's why. All right, guys. Have a good night, guys. Take care, everyone. Thank you so... Oh, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I have a long night tonight. I have to break night and get ready for tomorrow's podcast. I have to make a video for you guys. I have to find... I have so much work. I got to fix up the website for the clothes. I got to look up the device that I'm going to buy. Oh, somebody... somebody I'm going to show you. Somebody messaged me and said, you're lying. You're not doing shit with the money. I'm not. If you know me from Black Lives Matter, tell them what I did. Please. Tell them what I did. Somebody, please. Spend $5,000 on food and everything. Go back to my VODs. Go, go back. Go to 2000 and... Was it 2020? Go back. Look what I did. And I showed receipts. 
I showed receipts. And I'm lying, right? Hold on, buddy. I'm lying? Hold on, where is it? Just to show you, in order for me to be able to go live for one piece of the one piece of device, there it is. This is what they use for uh, general, uh, journalists. Journalists use this. Journalists use this. This is for me to be able to go live, 4K video, audio video encoder, so I can travel across the country to go live on foot at any scene, any crime scene, any specific scene that I want, I can go and I can go live for you at any moment. One man band, one man band by myself for you guys. I told you I do not fuck around. I told you I, I will, I'm going to get it. I'm going to show the receipt. I'm not playing any games. Novicity does not play. So I'm going to try to get this in about a month. I have to save up everything because this shit is expensive. Um, no, Janet. I know Janet, but I have to prove it. I don't fuck around. I, this is my brand. This is my life. This is my career. We would... I, I, yo. <laughs> Carissa. Carissa Huffman says, you guys should apologize. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to show proof. So I will be getting this. I'm going to have the receipt the, uh, and the paper. I'm going to show you guys when I get this. But this is just one piece. I have to buy the camera, the microphone, the battery pack. I got to get um, a laptop. Oh my God. I do have a laptop, but it's not good. I have to update this. This laptop is shit. And um, I don't know what to buy first. Should I buy the encoder first or should I buy the laptop first? I don't know because I'm going to be staying in random places, in Airbnbs. I don't know. I got a plan. This is tough. This career is tough. This is tough. This career is tough. But so a man got to do it, right? All right, guys. I love you. Amanda with the 70. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I am out. I'm done. But wait. Hold on. Honey B says with the $2, next time, do one for chat and one members and one supers. Oh. Shout out to Honey Bee. I'll do that. I'll do that. Honey Bee, just shut up. You know what? Honey Bee just changed the system. Honey Bee, I'm going to do that from now on. Thank you. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do one for regular subscribers and followers, one for members, and one, like one for followers, one for members, and one for super chat star senders. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. You're right. You're right. I'm going to do it. For, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's do it now. I want to be fair. Let's do it now. I don't, I'm not playing. Let's do that now. Let's do one. Let's do one more. For, um. For regular members. Oh, super chatters. I didn't. Oh, fuck. This is a, this is a lot. Okay. Let, let's do it on the next podcast. Because I have to create this. I have to take the chat and I have to take Facebook and put it side to side and put followers members only. I can't do that now. I can't do that now. I let's, let's do it tomorrow. Do an Amazon wishlist. I forgot about that. I what is that again? I forgot an Amazon wishlist. I, I, didn't I do that years ago? Guys, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. C can you guys teach me, please? You guys are smart enough. I don't know any of this. I'm not used to some people giving stuff to me. I don't, I'm the giver. I like to please. Hey, whoa, not like that. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I got to be careful what I say. Okay, I got I to gotta be very careful what I say. All right. All right, guys. Wait, hold on. Amanda Jensen with the 70 ZAR, Z-A-R. She says, no, I'm from South Africa, and the Z-A-R means R sign and stuff. Yes, I, I, I know it's the R sign. I know about that, which is RAN. So reading it, donating is 35 RAN. Happy to enjoy you all. Amanda! I love you, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Honeybee with the five, two stars. She said, next time, do it for... Yes, Honeybee, I did it. You're, it's going to show up here. I did it. Crystal Powell donated five. Says, I'll marry you. Oh, my God, Crystal. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Crystal. Crystal. 
Crystal, I'm not worthy of you. You are very, very bright. Crystal, that's so sweet. Francine with the 200 stars. Thank you, Francine Savala. Thank you. Crystal is bright. Damn. All right, guys. Let me get out of here. Let me go, guys. Guys, I got to go. I'm trying to leave. You guys are not letting me leave. If you don't start talking, taking better care of yourself, no nation ladies are going to mama bear on you. Amy said, nah, I don't play. I don't play. I don't play with you guys. Trust me. I know. You need glasses? Yeah, I do. I, too much on a computer screen. Too much. Thank you so much, Amy, for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Somebody gifted subs again? Thank you. Um, uh, Amanda, thank you so much. Amy, thank you. Honeybee, thank you. Crystal, thank you. All right, guys. I love you guys. Have a good night. <laughs> You guys are nuts. Oh, man. How has no fairy like a woman scorn? Tell you that. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.